Hello, everyone, and welcome to Beam. We are back with some more Race Till Destruction. We're at the wonderful Baja Rama circuit. Uh, we are we're starting off with some front-wheel drive cars, actually, around here. Uh, yes, the wonderful Baja Rama circuit in the middle of the Utah Extra map. The aim of the game is simple. We will be racing over the well the course of potentially three laps normally we'll normally run about three laps uh, around here the goal is to be the first one to cross the line of course and uh, and and take a victory however over the course of these three laps your car is going to be destroyed this track is nasty this track is bumpy it does very much kill cars so if you drive very quickly you might lead the race However, your car might fall apart. So you have to balance the whole, well, going quickly to try and win and keeping your car alive. And we have seen some great races. We have seen some close races. We have seen some not close races. We have seen plenty of broken stuff. And we will, yeah, see how this all pans out. We're starting off in this first round with some front wheel drive road cars. Uh, so to speak, I have got, this is the AW Goal, um, it's a Jetta, <laughs> essentially, there's also a Golf version, actually a really, really cool mod, uh, we had the AW Astro, the Astro, it was like the Mark II Golf, um, yeah, very, very cool mod, looks amazing actually, uh, me and Lado have had the same idea, we've both got the Jettas, now, I was going to go for the VR6 one, but it was all-wheel drive in this, and we're not allowed all-wheel drive, we've got Danger Man with a Sunburst, uh, of course the base model Sunburst are front-wheel drive, now Shadows had a good idea with a Tog, Tograk, I think, yep, uh, uh, <laughs> I was just checking the name, um, yeah, Shadow with a good idea of the Tograk, however... You've got ground clearance, but the suspension it used to be, I don't know whether it's changed, I don't know whether it's been updated or whatever, used to be very fragile. So if you can keep it alive, it might stay alive better than the Jettas. I don't I don't know how strong these cars are going to be. I remember the Astro was very strong, so I'm hoping these will be the same, but we don't know. Uh, we really don't know. Impega is off. What is Impega driving? Oh, Impega has a cover, a bit of more of a racy cover. Uh, I worry about the suspension on the racy cover. Now, there is an element of lag. Of course, it's beam multiplayer at the end of the day. And there will be a little bit of lag. There will be a little bit of bouncing of cars around the place, you know, as, as you do. I don't think I want to start where I am currently started, though. Uh, we, I feel like that's just asking for trouble. I think what I would rather do is... Well, okay, so Amy is driving on a wheel, which is brave, which means that we can just... If, if, if Amy is around, we are going to bump into them. Because <laughs> if you're on a wheel, it's really hard work. So, why not just make things a little bit more uncomfortable? Uh, Brazen sometimes plays on a wheel, and we crash into Brazen. Um, if there is... Um, if there is a chance to crash into somebody playing on... If you're going to choose to play on a wheel in a game where crashing happens, be prepared for people to bump into you. Uh, <laughs> you will be a... One of the many reasons why I don't play with on a wheel um, is that somebody will intentionally crash into you. So, there we go. Um, I can't decide whether Lado is intentionally bumping in Pega. I, yeah, I think they are. Um... Things can only go well. Danger Man has added the most significant part of the car, the wing, that is there. I think Rusky got joined. I don't know if they are um, selecting a vehicle. Uh, possibly. Pegas off into a tree. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Amazing stuff. Well done. Yeah, bloody hell. Waiting for Ollie, and we're waiting for Rusky. You know what? If you're going to take... I think they're just loading in. We're going to get the first... We're going to get this first one started. Um, they can sort out their vehicles ready for the next round. Here we go. Let us begin. Let us begin our first race. It is a three-lap race around here with our front-wheel drive cars. You should, in theory, make three laps. Well, I say that. We will have to wait and see. Something is very loud. Lado got 
a slap from Danger Man there on the way past, I think. Is it the sunbursts that are very loud? I think Danger Man's sunburst. I can't hear my own car over uh, the sound of one of the sunbursts. I guess it's got a sporty exhaust on it. Uh, there's a lot of dust currently occurring. We are going for the inside. Oh, we have gone. We have bumped Danger Man. Oh, don't jump too far. That's how you break a car. Look, Amy's crashing into me. I had nothing to do with this. I've been rolled over. <laughs> I, 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 I joked about it. I didn't actually do it. Amy crashed into us. That is not my fault. That is not my fault at all. Bloody hell. Uh, we have been rolled over. My car is fine. It's actually relatively close pack still at the moment. Oh, Shadow, don't suddenly change direction like that. Christ, I was committed to the corner. Uh, we got rolled, but it actually did very little in terms of damage to my vehicle. Uh, Danger Man with a pretty big lead. Oh, Amy has fallen over. Amy is now upside down. The downside, also downside of being on a wheel is if you fall over, you've got to go grab a mouse and then try and node grabber your way back upright. Well, I'm not taking that jump. Uh, I don't have to. So, as I said, you're allowed to go as fast or as slow as you like uh, through these sections. I'm trying to protect the car at the moment. Uh, Speed Beast and Danger Man are probably not protecting the cars very much. Me and Lado with similar ideas, and that's always a scary prospect when we all have similar ideas. Uh, <laughs> the bumper has come off. Lots of bumpers are making their bids for freedom around here. So far, the Jetta is doing pretty good. It's held up very well. No major concerns for the vehicle. Now, we should be going fast enough to do the double here, and then the next double. Oh, crap! Oh, that's bad. Hey, Lado! <laughs> I was going quicker. Oh, I've broken my radiator. Uh, that was unfortunate. Radiator gone is not the worst thing. Oil pan is worse. Radiator we can probably survive three laps with. Oh, I was trying. So, that was actually a little bit... Basically, I was trying to take these jumps slightly sideways in an attempt to uh, soften the landing. However, I don't know whether that really worked all that much. Uh, Speed Beast, I think, might be broken. Oh, now it's Lado's turn to help us. Uh, oh, that's a big crunch. Uh, I feel like maybe a bit more speed. Okay, no, not enough speed. I can't get enough speed up to kind of get those landings nicely. So Shadow probably has a good idea. Impega has tipped over. Danger Man still with a pretty big lead. We are already overheating. That is bad news for us. Uh, we are around the outside. We will pass Shadow. This will put us up into third place. Oh, and that might drop us out of third place. Speed Beast's car is poorly. That's having a bad day. Oh, didn't know what way you were going. Don't mind me. We're just bumping into everything. Uh, Speed Beast is losing steering at the moment. Okay, so bad news for us is we're very, very overheaty. Yeah, we're not making it. Sometimes when you get radiator failures, you'll get away with driving around a bit before it overheats. Speed Beast is already out after one lap. So Speed Beast was second. They are gone with engine problems. Uh, we will not be, we are not long for this, for this world here. Uh, we are across the bumps, and there's that's where all the bumpers fell off. Uh, <laughs> all right, the field has spread out a bit. I'm just going for it because I've got nothing to lose at this moment. The oil pan's gone, but we were pretty much on <laughs> on death's door at that point anyway with the Jetta. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Up the hill we head. I'm just hoping others will blow up before we do. That's pretty much all I got left in this. Shadow's taking it carefully. Danger Man with a massive lead at the moment. If it doesn't break, I think Danger Man is. I think Danger Man is taking it well a bit cautiously, which you might as well. Oh, <laughs> I think we killed it. Ah, well, I might as well kill it with a drive shaft rather than. Oh, Lado's Jetta is dead. Our Jetta is dead. Uh, it is drive shafted rather than engine, technically, but we are dead. We are just coasting our way over Radiator Springs. Impega is going to very slowly go through Radiator Springs. Sensibly done. 
we are out and we are done. Uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were about to explode anyway at that point. So, you know, what can you do? Uh, there is the sunburst. It is still going. Danger Man is heading into... Whoa, there's a bit of a nasty hit. Uh, Danger Man is heading towards a final a final lap with a pretty sizable lead over Shadow. It's whether it's whether Danger Man will break the car before the end. No, they're going for the let's be sensible. So Shadow's gonna have to boot it at some point. I think Amy managed to roll over. Don't know what Warski's driving. Um that one didn't load in. Um, didn't load in in time. In Pegas, oh, I think in Pegas conked out. That looks like a dead covert, doesn't it? That looks very possible. Also on slicks. That's a choice. Uh, <laughs> not a choice that particularly worked out for that. Um, Amy's sunburst looks like it's dying a death as well. Soon there shall only be two that remain. Lado. Uh, so Lado overheated and broke down. Uh, not far from where I did. <laughs> the Jetters were okay. They were just not, not quite strong enough. Oh. And. Well, sh has shenanigans happened? I wasn't watching. Did Impega Node grab that car forward? Or no, was it always there? Was it always there? And Amy just died at almost the same place, just a little bit behind. I don't actually remember where that was. Uh, so, <laughs> well, they're both out as well. Um, Shadow is quite a long way back from Danger Man. Danger Man has lost the radiator. So this is really a case of, oh, I think Danger Man's just lost the engine. It's, it, nope. It's got problems of some sort. I don't know what problems it has. might have debris problems? I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I don't know what was going on with that one. It may have been debris that was stuck under it or something uh, that, that Danger Man was trying to get free, but whatever's happened, Danger Man has lost a lot of time. Shadow is gaining massively, and the tow rack looks like its radiator is still in one piece. Over radiator springs we go. Danger Man is kind of carefully does it. Shadow is continuing the safely, safely approach on this one. I'm going to presume whatever Rusky was driving has broken down. It looks like it has. So, we have... Oh, Danger Man has still got trouble. Someone's not told Danger Man about the you can't reverse rule. Um, although, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is with Danger Man. Something... Oh, yeah, okay. I think I think there it might be debris because it looks like it's trying to node grab or something. So, I guess like a bumper or something has got caught in that that was causing the sunburst issues. So debris, you're allowed to reverse for debris. It's only you're not allowed to reverse in order. If your steering is broken, you're not allowed to use reverse to get round a corner, to do like a three-point turn to make a corner. Um, so yeah, Danger Man had some debris, a bumper, I presume, stuck. Oh, and he's trying to push to catch up. To Shadow has gone very wide of the jump. Now that's, you know, if that happens, you can get back on the circuit. You're not immediately eliminated. Um, that looks like that's had... Yeah, a bad time up there. So, all Shadow has to do is get down this next section, and it will be a stunning victory. Actually, a really tough competition this this first round. Uh, Danger Man is either taking it slowly across the jumps or has an ailing car. We are not sure at this moment in time. Here comes that Tograk. Shadow drove sensibly. It basically just drove it calmly and let us all crash ourselves out. And... He's going to, by the looks of it, let's not, let's not jinx it too much. There's still <laughs> one more corner to go. If it broke down now, it would be funny, but not for Shadow. Um, there is Danger Man's sunburst. As we head around the final corner, it will be victory for Shadow. Well done. Well done indeed. I wasn't sure about the Tograk. However, sensibly driven, and the Tograk will claim a victory in race number one. Danger Man has broken down. <laughs>
<laughs> well, only one finisher this time on Driven Till Destruction, and that was Shadow. Danger Man led for so long, I think Debris will not have helped that car. Um, I think I think the uh, the Debris will have potentially done a fair bit of damage to cause it overheat a little bit faster and all that. But that is the way it goes around here. That is the way it goes around here. Uh, <laughs> ah, well, there we are. Hello. Now you have bonked the roof on my car. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Here we go. Uh, Snow, thank you very much for the <laughs> stage around puts in chat. Bloody bumpers. Oh, that's the one. Snow, thank you very much for the donation. Say hi. How are you? Uh, anyway, we can get a race with Miramar. Uh, rally slash race cars. I tell you what, we can. We will do a round. Miramars only. I will let you... People can choose what spec of Miramar they want to go for, but we will have our next round shall be Miramars only. Uh, I'm not doing too badly, thank you. I have had quite a nice, chill day. Um... Yeah, it's been, it's been a fairly, fairly nice day. Certainly can't can't complain. Was wandering around a like naturey reservey bit uh, today, which was which was nice. Oh, uh, what the bloody hell! What version of Mirama do you want? I don't actually know. I don't think I want a track version. I think I want a GTZ version. Let's go and try the GTZ. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying on tonight's fail race, how much pain can pain? Sorry, can you get in B classes? How much misery can you get in uh, T series, and how much laughter can you get from uh, get with Piccolinas? Uh, many laughters, um, many laughters indeed. Maybe we'll have a go with a Piccolina round. Uh, two things, Alex. Can we have a Discord chat tonight, and can we have an ascent race later? Uh, P.S. Bum. We're not going to have Discord chat uh, for tonight. Uh, we might be able to end with an ascent race. We'll see how. We haven't got too many crazy mods for it, um, but maybe we'll have a look at uh, messing around with one of the hill climb stages. Um, of course, they, I forgot there is a camper for the Miramar. Forgot that that was. I'm not going to drive it because there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that was a, one of one of the mods that Amy installed for this one. Uh, so yes, there is a camper. Lad, I was all very excited. Um, there's a. <laughs> but actually, it's quite a cool. Well, I say it's a camper. I mean, <laughs> you've just put a tent on a Miramar. That doesn't count. That's that, that's terrible. Ca You've still got a roll cage. Someone's not found a gear. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a fun little thing. But... <laughs> oh, dear. Chris, thank you very much for the donation. So, since 1950, there has been 36 colours in the automotive industry, which include Tiger in the name. Not one has been orange. The closest one, however, goes to uh, Acura's Tiger Eye Pearl colour. Which is a very light copper. Why, why are car manufacturers so weird with names? <laughs> surely, if you were, you were going to have something, like surely somebody would go for like a bright orange for a tiger colour. Surely, um, but no, apparently not. I trust Chris's book of random car facts. It, it's one of those things that. Both surprises me and doesn't surprise me. Um, oh god, I remember. For those of you that remember the old Gran Turismo 4 streams of going through the very entertaining colour names for some of the cars. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> um, yeah, it really, it really doesn't. It really, really doesn't surprise me. Uh, so Danger Man is sticking with a theme. I can see Danger Man's theme this evening. It is add mighty wings to everything. Uh, we have got a selection. And Pegas is is very um, is that well? I think Brazen may be joining us a little bit later. Impega is taking that role <laughs> of the most inf offensively uh, bright, kind of a ninja turtle almost going on for a um, for. And in Pega. Right, everyone is ready. Let us begin! Uh, Spotted Cow, thank you very much for the super chat. Say hi, can you do a race in pre 1980s station wagons? Um, and uh, power to weight ratio close to one. <laughs> can you do a race? So, we don't, sadly, we do not have very many estate cars. We also cannot get many of those estate cars to that level of power. Um, unfortunately, yeah, 
Uh, however, pre-1980s, we can do. Oh, we're going to give you a bump. Uh, hello, Impega. I'm going to call you Ninja Turtle for this, because uh, that is just what that reminds me of. Uh, we are going to go around the outside. Oh, dear, that's a bit dangerous. All is fine. All is fine. All is a little slow. I mean, it's, it's quite a good battle to start with. Danger Man's got a droopy wing. <laughs> Oh, not a sentence I thought I'd have to say today, but a funny one. Um, right, oh, don't, don't, don't make contact. All oh, Dangerman's all sorts of twitchy. So Shadow is continuing their plan, and, you know, it worked. And the Maramar is not known for its strength as well, I should point out. So, <laughs> there we go. Uh, being a little bit careful with the car, probably a good shout. We're going to go for a cutback on Danger Man, and that'll put us up a position. Ollie is leading the way for the moment. I am not going for that speed over that jump. Oh, Amy and Shadow went for it. Uh, I don't know how much uh, Danger Man, or how much, uh, sorry, how much Ollie is sending it. Uh, it looks like Shadow may have got a car landed on their roof, because that's got a big chunk taken out of it. I'm trying to keep my oil pan alive at the moment. Uh, right, slowly does it over radiator springs. You don't want to break an oil pan. I don't want to be beaten by a camper, particularly, but you know, what can you do? Uh, I, uh, oh, well, thank you very much for the nations, folks. I will read them. I can't read them in the middle of the race very easily, but I will read them at the end. Uh, it is always much appreciated. Uh, now, these jumps here, Shadow's not going for the double. Amy is. I believe the Murama should be able to do it. Oh, <laughs> Amy's fallen over. <laughs> Big crash. Big crash there. Uh, oh, of course, I was just going to say, we're doing a three-lap race again. These cars should be good for a three-lap three -lap event. Uh, so we're up to second. Ollie's lost some time somewhere in all of that. Maybe didn't take those jumps as a double. Uh, I, uh, I don't know whether this... Like, I have this theory, I don't know whether it's actually true, these kind of slightly diagonal lines across the jump to minimise. I'm not trying to block, it's just how I'm trying to take these jumps. It's basically I'm trying to not... I'm trying to, to land on a corner, land on a wheel, rather than my radiator slash oil pan. I genuinely am not sure whether this is a, a legit strategy. If it's a legit strategy that really does much, uh, it's kind of like a impression, or Danger Man's sending it now. Danger Man's going for a little bit more bravery. Oh, and Danger Man's helped Shadow have some bravery. Uh, I mean, it's one way to do it. So I still got my radiator in one piece. My oil pan's in one piece. Sometimes you'll be able to see the steam that will let you know that others do or don't. However, it doesn't always sink. Uh, right, we're going to send our car across there. I'm not sending it over this next one because I was sliding and out of shape. Yeah, so oh, Ollie's is heavily damaged, so Ollie's car is struggling now. Ollie's car is very much struggling. Danger Man is to the lead. Uh, good old droopy wing there is in the lead of the race. My car is getting a bit warm, and I still have my radiator. That's a concern. Uh, we, I don't want to actually... Oh, Danger Man's slowing down through that corner. Uh, don't hit that tree. We have had people hit that tree. Um... Uh, okay, apparently the slalom is a popular track mania strategy to minimize air time. Okay, I guess that's kind of what I want. I'm less likely to, to jump and, yeah, I do want less air time, less likely to, I guess, damage the car. It's not about speed so much here. Uh, it's about preventing damage to the car. So Shadow is coming with us. It's kind of a three-car battle at the front at the moment. Uh, oh, Shadow's been braver through that section. Than, than, than me and Danger Man were. So yeah, Danger Man's got the lead. And this is a strategy we have seen employed by people in the past. You kind of race up to the lead and then slow down. So you get to the front and then you back it off. You, there are risks. I think Danger Man might be overheating. Is that just... Is that just the dust cloud? Or is that some steam involved in that as well? Uh, I'm not sure. It might just be, might just be the dust. Uh, I don't want to go for this jump at the moment. Shadow went for it. Shadow has, has gone for it there. No, I think it's just the dust cloud at the moment. Uh, we are on lap two at the moment. There's still another lap to go after this one. Um, so, yeah, there's a group of three at the front, and I think there's another group a little bit further back. Ollie's vehicle must have been quite heavily damaged. I don't know um, where that is in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we are all through... Oh, that's a little bit of a 
clonk down there, all through Radiator Springs. Impega and Speed Beast are behind. Shadow is going to the lead of the race, but can't get it stopped for the hairpin. It is a proper wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle that we are coming to get involved in here. Now, who is going to be braver down here? I think Danger Man's engine might be dying. Uh, that may have taken a knock. Shadow is not going for it. Oh, we shouldn't have done. We shouldn't have done. We have sent it to the lead, and we did no... We did no real damage to the car. Uh, it's because I think as I swerved out of the way of Shadow at the last second, we actually lost some time. Um, oh, Ollie tried to, Ollie went for the full speed across Radiator Springs. That's what broke the car. Um, Shadow is sending it down here. Now, does that mean Shadow has damage and knows that's overheating? Or does Shadow believe that car is strong enough? I'm impressed that the speed sh Shadow is going for it. Now, yeah, is Shadow's engine on their last life and know that that could be in trouble? Is Shadow just trying to make some time up, knowing that I will have to push hard? Um, ooh. It's a tactical game, this one. It is a really tactical game. It's weirdly tactical for a dumb a dumb beam race. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what my best plan is. I think, I think oh, we've got to keep the car in one piece. We are overheating. This is just the radiator not being able to deal with us pushing the car really hard. Uh, okay, so take that jump as a double. Shadow did not. Oh, okay, we're taking the jump as a double and that's gained us some time up. Uh, the problem is oh god. No! Of all the jumps that's the one that broke the oil pan. This is a big problem now, because we were already close to overheating anyway. Ah, oh, no. We have to go, we have, uh, I think now we don't really have much choice. My goal is now going to be push and hope Shadow makes, hope Shadow pushes hard and uh, tries to keep up with us and blows their engine. Because I've got no other choice at the moment. There's no going slow for me. Uh, we, I don't even know whether we could... I th if I go slow, I don't think I'd make the lap anyway. Uh, we're to the inside. Oh. There's the... I, I can't actually... Uh, it's not about protecting the car here. That was I just wasn't set up for the jump. Go on, Shadow. Break down. Break down. Please break down. Uh, <laughs> fun sporting, maybe. But this is race till destruction. You want your competitors to break down. Uh, come on, Mirama. I should have maybe... I shouldn't have... Should have stuck with my goal of just don't push the car, don't hurt the car. Should have stayed with that plan. No, don't fall over. Oh, that's the last thing we needed. Uh, oh, well. Shadow bumped into us. Now, okay, Danger Man's overheated. I don't know if Shadow's car... Oh, Shadow's car is gone, I think. Shadow's car looks like it may have conked out. That's not moving very well. That's not moving much. I don't think any of us are going to make it. However, it comes out, is anyone still moving? Impega is still moving. Oh no, not the Ninja Turtle. We might all get beaten by the Ninja Turtle here. Depends on if it's taken much damage or not. Oh no. Oh no, we might get beaten by a camper. The rod bearings are damaged. I can hear the death of my engine currently occurring. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can make it. I can't even make these jumps f properly anymore. If I go flat over there, I'll just smash my nose into the landing zone. Um, come on. Come on, Mirama. <laughs> no. No, it's going to have a bad time. Impeg is overheating, but nowhere near as bad as me. Come on, Mirama, live! Oh. We don't, we don't make this. The only way we win is if Impega's car explodes about now. It was a valiant fight. It was a valiant fight, which I should not have pushed as hard, but I wasn't to know. You just, you can never know what condition your opponent's car is in. And Shadows was in a bad... Oh, Impeg has fallen over. Please have broken something important. Please have broken something important. 
It looks like it's still moving. Although it's not moving as quickly as it was. Please. Come on, Mirama. You've only got this straight to go now. Beggar's recovered. We're in a lot of trouble now. No, no, the engine. The poor, the poor classic engine is not gonna, it's gonna die on one of these hills. No, it's gone. Ah, oh, then Ninja Turtle's overtaken. <laughs> oh, Impega has, has got past. Will Impega make it to the, I mean, Impega's won. Will that make it to the finish line, though? It's obviously ailing quite badly. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. Shouldn't have pushed so hard to catch Shadow. The hindsight is wonderful and everything. But it does look like Impega is going to be the only finisher, and it will be the camper that takes victory here. Well done, Impega. Good work. Good work. Impega wins. We will at least come second in that, and I think Shadow is third. Uh, there was a bit of a death hill over here. Ollie's Lados is all broken. Um, Amy's ended up conked out over here. Ruskies, I presume, with overheating. There we have it. There we have it. Well done, Impega. You have taken victory here. <laughs> that was a great round. That was there was everything you want race to destruction to be. We actually had a good race between me, Danger Man, and Shadow for a while. Um, and yeah, we all pushed a little bit too hard. But there we go. Ah, oh, good fun. Good fun. Uh, right, donations that uh, that came in. Uh, snorts, Snorksty? I don't know if I pronounced that one correctly, but thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, good day. Can we do a round with box trucks only? Uh, okay. Box trucks only. Now... The box truck won't necessarily mean the T-Series. There is a box truck variant of a D-Series. I don't know if we have... I don't think any of the other mods add on anything that could count as a box truck. Just going to check to see if a Roma there isn't. So yeah, your option is the bigger T-Series that is strong, but probably slower, or a D-Series. A van, unless there is... Is there a H-Series box truck? Uh, a van doesn't count. No, there is. Maybe, oh, maybe it's the van that has the box truck, sorry. Uh, maybe it isn't the D-Series. I have seen a D-Series box truck, but I don't know whether we have that. Um, so yeah, okay, so you've got the van, you've got the T-Series, and you might have one of these uh yes you could get a d-series i mean i could even i would even say the ambulance would possibly count as well um that you would think that's good but that's not as good as you want it to be what the hell do i want for this hmm hello cass how are you doing my cat has come to say hello uh <laughs> Uh, right. I am going for the T-Series one. I'm just going to put a massive turbo in it, basically. Uh, <laughs> that's my plan. That is that is my plan. Uh, 300, thank you for the super chat. Saying first time catching a stream. Ah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will enjoy this, uh, enjoy this madness that is a, a beam stream. I want a big turbocharger. Uh, just for reasons of well, general hilarity. Honestly, I don't. I don't. It doesn't really matter. I am just going to. Oh, I can't put a good radiator. I might overheat. I just want a big turbo because then I can slide a truck around. Um, so there we go. Uh, Emo Daddy, thank you for the super chat. Uh, saying love your content. Always fun seeing the fail race crew have a blast. Uh, what do you think the best racing game to date? Uh, I mean. There are three. There are three that I would put very high up, and they are Choco Race Driver, because the career mode is still, to this day, the best ever implementation of a racing game career mode, PGR4, and Burnout Paradise. Uh, they are all incredibly good. I would, I would potentially put Choco Race Driver up at the top because of the career mode, PGR4, 
is just the best arcade racing game and it is just uh, astonishingly good for the time that it came out as well and burnout paradise oh i forgot about that yeah that has got a that's that is a choice uh and burnout paradise is again equally wonderful wonderful arcade racer also huge amounts of fun online um so i had some of the most some of the most fun well not to say some of the most fun but Back long before I was doing YouTube, I spent a lot of time doing like the multiplayer challenges on Burnout Paradise. Awesome game. So those those would be my top three for. Then they're all for slightly different reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. I hope that answers the answers the question. It's kind of a bit sneaky, but you know it, it's good enough. Uh, right, we're going to back the truck up. We're just going to try and get out of the, out of the way. Um, right, donations. Um, Oyoi Savoy? I don't know how to pronounce it, but thank you for the donation. Saying, how about a one, maybe two lap, one gear challenge round, if possible? Uh, driver's choice of gear. Uh, it might. The downside we get here is we can't. Well, no, you can adjust gearboxes a little bit. Um, we could potentially have a go if uh, if we can get everybody. That might be something that gets more likely done in a video rather than a stream. Just getting everyone organized for that one is uh, not so easy. I think we are all ready to go. We can have a, I'll have a think. I'll have a think. Uh, if not, though, I kind of like it as an entertaining idea for a uh, for a video, like single gear racing. Um, Caleb, thank you for the donation, saying, did you know that if you took every VW Golf ever made and lied them up around the equator, most of them would sink? That's going to be a boo to you from, from chat and from me. Although it's quite good. Um, it, that's close to not getting a boo. I quite like that one. Uh, also, could we get around in track slash racing cars? And no messing with the suspension. You can indeed. Uh, that'll be a little bit um, later on. Right, I think we're ready. Speed Beast has a Stambeco box truck. I mean, that thing's going to be that thing's gonna be strong, but I think it's going to break. Uh, not break, sorry. It's going to be slow. Should survive, but I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be slow. And if I see a Stambeco, I am going to crash into it because it's kind of off-road designed. Um, I also feel like Lado is well aware of the potential for trucks bullying a pigeon. Can I drift tap a Lado? Do I get bonus points if I drift tap a Lado? I feel like I should. I kind of... Nope, that's just a bump. Oh, I've almost murdered a Lado into a tree. I, all I wanted to do was drift tap a pigeon. Now there's a Lado in the way. Uh, <laughs> the Lado is so brave for sticking it out so long in <laughs> in here. Right. Go on, drift tap. Drift tap a Lado. <laughs> Lado knows the game. <laughs> uh, right, come on, track. So the T-Series has got a lot stronger in this game since I... You know, from when I did um, uh, Driven Till Destruction. Oh, Amy's got Exploring. That is a way to, to go. Uh, yeah, frame rate will not enjoy this. Part of that is the Stambeco. It's not very good for frame rates. Also, the other part of it is we've got massive trucks on a dirt track. Sorry, Lado. There was a bit of a squeeze from Amy in the small box truck. Lado's got his side. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Shadow's turned up. I think Lado may have been squished. <laughs> <laughs> I think the contact might have uh, might have played a part in Lado's demise, funnily enough. Oh, Amy's gone for a dive bomb. Normally, the dive bomb doesn't quite literally vo involve flying as much as that one did. Uh, oh, I've got a fender of Amy's truck attached on mine. Uh, Amy went sideways a bit up there. Uh, this is absolute madness, but it's wonderful all at the same time. Right. Uh, down the hill we go. Shadow is right behind. So, Ollie leads the way. Followed by Danger Man. Followed by Amy. Shadow got a better run through there than me. Although we've got acceleration here. Uh, we will be to the inside. So, Amy's in the, one of the smaller um, box trucks. I think that might be the van uh, version. Which is fine. Is this fast enough to double this jump? Yes, it is. Keep foot down, keep foot down. Amy's is not. Amy's had a massive accident. Okay, that's useful information to know. It might not be able to do it when it's uh, broken. If we take any damage, we might not be able to do that double. But 
useful to know. Lado has recovered with the pigeon truck. It has lost the box part of it, but uh, it has recovered. Uh, yeah, I do apologize for the frame rate. It's, it's not brilliant. We are asking, we've got 10 trucks going around a so it's beams always going to have a little cry at this. I heard a crunch from someone. Uh, who is that? Is that Shadow? Possibly. I feel sorry for him, Pega's computer, if I'm honest. That might be... It may be a little bit on fire. Uh, <laughs> actually, and Ruskies, they both might not be enjoying this round, particularly. Uh, oh, Ruskies lost the fuel tank. That is the end of that. Yeah, that will do it. Oh! There's a clock there. Um, I mean, the pigeon, the four-wheeled pigeon is not the weakest thing in the world. And if Lado's being sensible, uh, oh, my clutch is at high temperature. Not going to worry too much about that. You can die from clutch failure, but it is rare. Uh, oh, hello, Amy. <laughs> Did you just sp <laughs> You spun yourself. I don't know if you were trying to spin me, but you definitely spun yourself on my vehicle, which is quite funny. Uh, I, I, I think I could make that jump. Oh, properly. If I actually went for it. Oh, dear. I almost fell over. We've lost third place to Shadow. Okay. We have got to try have a better lap. We're going to have to start we're going to have to start using bravery. Uh, Ollie and Danger Man with a little bit of a lead here. I imagine we've all got the big turbo. Like, we're all just drifting trucks. Uh, at the moment. Ah, Brazen has turned up. Uh, the Glambulance, I'm sure, would have made an appearance in this round, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, Shadow's always tipping over as well. Uh, Ollie is up through the next jump section. Uh, we are... I think we're really in the fight for third at the moment. Lado might come and join this fight, depending on how strong that pigeon is. Uh, oh. You don't really want to be involved in a fight with a bunch of trucks when you're driving a pigeon. However... Uh, we will see what Lado opts to do. Uh, can we climb up there with minimal damage? We can. Okay. I mean, the clutch is a little bit of a concern. Who lost... Whose who's truck lost that? Amy lost theirs, but that was later around. So someone someone else has lost the actual box part as well. Uh, <laughs> right, Amy is still going back there. I mean, I feel like we need to try and make up some time. So we are starting to now play this riskily. Uh, we're really going for it. Both me and Shadow are doing this a little bit more dangerously. Oh! Uh, we definitely did that one dangerously. Oh! We're running the risk of falling over. Uh, well, I had to steer into Shadow a little bit there. I was just trying to stop my vehicle from... Oh, it was Rusky, I think, that lost uh, the box part. Rusky had a bad time. The fuel tank went. Um... It is now a three-way battle for second. Ollie with a little bit of a lead. Come on, truck. You can do this. The Stambeko is battling with the pigeon back there. Uh, or the dove, I think it's called, actually, to be more precise. They're both slowing down for the jumps. We can send it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> we can send it, but it only really works when you're on your own. <laughs> oh, I saw a gap. We kind of had to go for it. Um... They, don't, they do not want to be taking that jump as a as a double, which this truck is more than capable of doing. I was I was hoping we could get away with that. It was a big risk. Well, I'd say it was a big risk. It was a play that we went for, and now we are just going to have to go for it. The Stambeko, I can just hear a turbo going on. That's all we can hear. Uh, right. I, I cannot worry about the fuel tanks. I cannot worry about the drive shaft or anything like that. Can't really worry about the clutch anymore either. We're just going to go for it and and hope, really. Come on. Come on, you big brute. Make these jumps. Oy. Get your wheels on the ground. Okay, we're kind of taking these as doubles. If anything, this has actually gone quite well for us. Um... Uh, that was It was risky, but I think we've shown that the truck can do it. Shadow and Ollie and Date, they're all being really cautious. The fact that I flipped and have been able to catch up, I think Ollie might have, might be breaking down. I think Ollie might have broken down and be out here. It's not Shadow. It's not Speed Beast. It's not Stan Becko's turbo. It's my turbo that's making a lot of noise at the moment. Uh, we've caught back up to basically where we were. Um, 
Amy's still going. That thing's been in the wars. Uh, come on, we're back to third. Uh, <laughs> Danger Man is a dirty driver. Well, I haven't seen anything. I don't know if that's just brazen stirring trouble. Um, on, uh, on that one. Can we do... Oh, well, I was a little bit sneaky there. We shoved the nose in where it didn't really belong. Uh, come on, truck. You're gonna get a struggle to get turned in, but that's fine. We'll use the banking back there to do it. Uh, will either of these two try and take that double later on in the lap? That is the question. I mean, we have more experience, actually, of hitting these jumps hard than the trucks around us because we've had to try and catch up. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Danger Man is left out a little bit wide. We are going to go for the inside. It's... Oh, no! It was an attempt at getting second, and I almost rolled it. I had to steer into Danger Man, otherwise we were going to fall over at that point. That was not an intentional takeout. That was, a, if I do not do this, I will roll. Uh, Danger Man is now on the inside, though, through this next corner. We will have to concede the place briefly. It's a big cutback. I'm again going on two wheels. Uh, <laughs> we are following the old Top Gear mantra of touring car contact. Although, Mike, the contact has been a little bit more in uh, try not to fall over. That has been the main goal of their contact, though. Danger Man went the other way. We are up to second. Shadow is leading the way here. I mean, the trucks, considering we are driving around a Baja circuit, and we are racing, and, I mean, this is... Uh, uh, this has been an absolutely mad race. Oh, Shadow was slowing down. I was not expecting Shadow to stop in front of us. Uh, well, we've pushed Shadow over. We will go side by side. I was not I, I was not expecting Shadow to go for the slowdown there on the final lap. Uh, perhaps I should have done, but uh, yeah. We are just sending it now because we know... We know the truck's capable of surviving this. There's a chance we break the steering. But it's the final lap of the race. Oh. And everyone is going to be sending it. Shadow is now sending it as well. Oh. God. Clonking about. Danger Man's not far away. We've only got to survive this section. I mean, we made up so much time down here on the last lap. Oh, that's a big hit. Don't roll. Okay, we didn't. That's what we needed to do is to just not roll. Shadow's trying to get alongside. Shadow is there or thereabouts now as we head towards the final couple of corners. We've got the inside for this next one. Shadow will be on the inside for the final corner, which is why I want to try and get it across through here. Uh, come on, get the traction. Ninth gear has been a very good friend for me. We did not get the momentum out of there that we needed. However, can we do this? Shadow is right there. Shadow gives us a nudge, but it's not going to be enough because we blocked the road and we will claim victory. <laughs> Danger Man is third. <laughs> what a race. <laughs> Jesus, what a brilliant race that was. Holy crap. I mean, I only got... <laughs> I didn't intentionally block the track. I can't... I couldn't steer anymore at that point. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Great race with Shadow and Danger Man again. It was us lot once again with the absolutely insane battle. Speed Beast is going, as expected, Speed Beast is going to finish. Stambeko is going to finish in fourth. Ollie is going to finish in fifth. Don't know what happened to Lado. The poor clutch. Um, the poor, poor clutch on this vehicle. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, Lado, we can actually make the finish line. Oh, go on, Lado. Go on, Lado, you can do it. <laughs> the, the least expected vehicle actually made it. Well done. Good work, Lado. Nicely done. Um, <laughs> it, it's all sorts of broken. Uh, Amy lost a fuel tank. That's unfortunate. Danger man. I mean, like, our trucks held up pretty good. Consider, certainly considering what I have to do with mine to catch up. We abused the crap out of our truck there. Um, but uh, there we go. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Uh, yeah, the frame rate wasn't great because we had 10 vehicles and they were trucks. It's B multiplayer. You're not going to do great with this. Um, unless you have a supercomputer and mine is alright, but not a supercomputer. Um, so there we go. 
great race. I really enjoyed that one. That was up there with one of the first um, race to Till Destruction where it was me and Lado, uh, and we both ended up breaking down. It was, uh, yeah, that was up there. That was amazing fun. Um, so there we go. Right, our next one. Hold up, let me go and find oh, the one that was requested did because the super chats don't ever save well they do save but i've got to go in a different window and find it hold on let me go because i'm i try and i'll try and get to everything as, as much as possible um right so our next request okay we can't do part of it but it's just spotted cow so we are going to go pre-1980s okay so you can't have anything more modern uh than 1980 now, the game does have a filtering system. Uh, you can go, and I don't know how the mods are going to behave, but... Uh, oh. So, yeah, pre... Well, yeah, so we'll go with, with pre-80. Pre uh, unfortunately, the Regency, that is on my game, that is not on. Ooh, there are the choices are not great. Amy's driving that. Um... Uh, what do I want? And also, I can't drive that. That's not on the game. That's not on the server. That's that's on my end. Moonhawk. Brazen's driving that. I am not. The Moonhawk has got a less strong drive shaft now than it used to have. Uh, I am actually tempted to go Burnside. <laughs> it's a Burnside hearse. Amazing. Um... I think I'm going to go custom Burnside. I don't know whether this is going to work. But we're going to give it a try. Um, Alright, other donations to Reed Chaos. Thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, can you do cars that weigh 800 to 1,100 kilos with forced induction? Uh, we can potentially uh, go along those lines. Uh, again, I, like, I will read out your donations and I will read out your rounds and so on. We will try and cycle through as many as we possibly can. Um, I might not get to all of them, but we will try. Uh, Stainless Steel, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, saying something simple. Uh, you must choose the base model. Okay. That's always an interesting one. Um, we have got Noodle Brain. Thank you for the donation. Saying hello, Alex and chat. How are things this evening? Please, when we have a front-wheel drive round. Uh, we did. The first round was a front-wheel drive round. I don't know if you've just... Uh, I don't know quite when when you tuned in, but yeah, the, fr the first round was a, a front-wheel drive only round. One by Shadow with a top rack. Um, also, what is your favourite curry? Ah, you know, the important questions. Uh, <laughs> my fa I mean, I, 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 I like plenty of them. Chicken tikka masala is my go-to. Um, that is that is my, my general go-to favourite curry. Uh, so... Yeah. Not the most adventurous, you know, quite a common favourite one and everything, but still. Uh, Kick, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, what are the requirements to be able to join in one of your multiplayer sessions? So, Beam Stuff is... Uh, oh, God, Impeg has got the... It's got the... Oh, no. Um, okay, never mind. Uh, I think it was actually too modern anyway, of course. Um, the, we have a an AE86 mod, but uh, it makes a weird dinging sound of the entire... Uh, entire way, so we're not probably going to use it today. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so beam sessions and stuff are not currently joinable. Uh, the stuff that is is joinable is the GTA 5 streams. There may be some other streams as well, but uh, mostly the GTA 5 streams that are open to everybody. Um, you can take part in those ones, and the Versus community, you can register to join that. That can be found on, on the Discord. Um, If 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 when we need more people, if if anyone particularly stands out as uh, uh, you know as a good driver and so on, they will um, over time get added. But uh, there is no like set way. If you turn up in GTA streams, race cleanly, race well. That's generally a good sign. It's a good start. Um, at that for for that. Chris, thank you for the donation. Uh, oh yeah, Wreckfest streams, another one. Yeah, if we do Wreckfest, we haven't done it for a while, but yeah, Wreckfest streams, they're normally open sessions as well. Uh, Beam stuff will probably never be open sessions owing to demands on the server. Ten cars, it's a laggy, difficult thing. Um, any more than that, yeah, this will never likely be open. Um, it's just 
just how it works. Uh, Chris, thank you for the donation, saying, Despite costing nearly £60,000, the Audi Q4 e-tron has drum brakes, no cameras, no auto cruise control, no heated mirrors, no air suspension, no, no sat-nav. They all come as option packs, except the drum brakes, which can't be added at all. Cars are ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> cars are ridiculous these days. Um, yeah, that is so much money for not a very exciting car. Christ. Um, uh, yeah, for a badly equipped car, badly specced car as well. Uh, Noodle Brain, thank you for the nation, saying, Also, what is the best WRC car from the late 90s onwards? Ooh, that's difficult. That's difficult. I always have a soft spot for the Castrol liveried Toyota Corolla. That sort of white, green, and red one. I've always liked it. I don't know if that's quite... Yeah, I can't... I don't know what year that raced. That might be a more early 90s. Uh, and I've always liked the Octavia. The, the Octavia rally car. I don't know... Was that WRC? Or was that... I think that was WRC, wasn't it? The Octavia. Um... But, uh, yeah, that Coro... I don't know what it is. I mean, there's, there's loads of amazing ones. Like, there's... There's... What is the best and what is your favourite? Uh, are actually probably two different questions. I mean, what is the best... The best car from that era? Well, it's probably the Citroen that Loeb drove and won everything. Um, but my favourite is, weirdly, the Corolla. <laughs> the Corolla or the Octavia. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, I wish I get everything loaded in. Uh, where do we get to? Drake, thank you for the donation. Saying, can you have it so that the fuel tank is split from the start or any other part is damaged? If so, Alex, I must have everyone in the same car with the same damaged part. Engine part, no, no bodywork damage. And see who can go the furthest in this situation. Unfortunately, you cannot. Uh, there is no way to break parts like that. Um, not that I know of, anyway. Uh, sadly, yeah, you, you cannot, um, uh, can't break any of the parts in that manner and have a guaranteed the same across all the vehicles. Right, we've got an eccentric selection of vehicles. We've got the I-Series, we've got, well, I mean, the rally cars are the sensible option. Me and Ollie have gone for the not sensible option. Amy's also got a sensible option. Um, Speed Beast, also not a bad idea. We will see how this goes. I mean, my goal is to make it to the finish line, and we will see what happens. I mean, we can have, you know, the big boaty cars can have their own battle. My hope is, is that the rally cars will break themselves, which is distinctly possible. We saw Impega win with the... Uh, oh, why is that stopped? I think Rusky might have had a game problem. A bit difficult to deal with when you go round a corner and suddenly there is a... St <laughs> like, I am committed in a big old barge going round a corner and suddenly there is a, a stuck car. Oh, Amy's had a crash with the Piccolina. Uh, the Piccolina's got lost. What's happened to that? Don't know what's going on with the Piccolina. Something's happening with it. Uh, we are around the outside of a hopper. That's not going to last. Uh, right. Up the hill we go. So, my goal is to try and get this car to the finish line. Now, that means we are going to have to be careful uh, with this. Because it will not have the suspension or the, like, oil pan strength, radiator strength to survive big hits. Ollie is not paying any attention to that. Uh, so, yeah, the real hope for me is the rally cars are going to break down. Uh, I could have used a rally car, I could have gone, but I wanted to use something a little bit different um, for this, which is why we have got this particular vehicle. Uh, we are we are a very long way back, though. Um, oh, uh oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so. In Pega, the blue buck is still behind. I mean, the blue buck is also is kind of going for the similar route. Danger Man has fallen over on the first of the motocross sections. Uh, that's not ideal for for them. And we should, I say, we should be able to do this. I'm going to try. Oh, that's too big of a jump. I think. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, I 
God damn it. I was hoping, because that jump there is normally quite a smooth landing zone, but... Nah. God damn it. I, I could have just gone slowly, but... Yeah, at that point. Well... I, I thought this would have a strong enough oil pan that it would be okay doing that as a double. I thought it was just strong enough to get away with that, which is why we took it. I did hit it a little hard, although I don't think it was the initial landing. I think it was the uh, uh, sort of incline for the second part. Not sure, though. Happens very quickly. Nope. Bit of an over-rev as well. But yeah. Oh, well. I had hoped the car would be strong. Well, I had presumed the car would be strong enough for that, so I might as well now just send it. If we break it, we break it. Jeez, uh, this is doing the triples. The triples are very difficult to do in non-extreme off-roaders. Um, so that's actually quite impressive that it's able to do that. Ollie is smoking up ahead by the looks of it. So Ollie's burn side is not faring any better than mine. Uh, we. And uh, there goes the coolant. I don't, to be fair, I don't even know if that's oil related or if I'm me driving the car like a lunatic is actually causing that as well. Uh, <laughs> right. So sideways we go and catch up to the pink machine. We will we try our very best. I mean, I want to overtake Ollie before we break down. That's the goal at the moment. Seeing as we haven't... Uh, Oh, come on now. Come on now. Seeing as we haven't really got much other in the way of possible objectives. Not the engine got damaged. Well, the engine's pretty knackered anyway, game. I'm not that fussed about that one. Uh, right. Take that jump. Three. We are clonking the front of the car on everything, trying to catch up to Ollie. Uh, no, well, Ollie's car is dead. Ollie's engine's definitely had enough. Uh, we can go around the outside. No, oh, tried. Oh, Rusky's broken down. We might actually beat one of the rally cars. Uh, oh, no, Rusky's broken down at the start, didn't they? Never mind. Uh, oh. It's fine. The two burn sides are trying to make more burn sides. <laughs> Not ideal. Brazen leading the way. Uh, come on. Both of us with poorly engines. I think Eddie... Oh! Piccolina's arrived. Hey, Piccolina. Don't mind us. Uh, well, I wasn't going to do that to my burn side. Uh, <laughs> Amy, you've, you've, you've picked the wrong place to join the battle. Oh, Shadow, we might actually legitimately beat a rally car. Shadow looks to have broken down. Ha-ha! We have legitimately overtaken a rally car. I mean, that's something. Oh, God, we're a little bit difficult to drive. I think I bent something in the steering or suspension. Uh, oh, who would have thought? Who would have thought we'd broken something in our car, treating it like this? Uh, I mean, the engine is on its last legs. We know this. We, we are aware our engine has basically had it. But I think we're going to beat Ollie. Maybe. The engine is holding up incredibly well, considering we lost the oil pan over a lap ago. And we are not taking good care of the car. <laughs> we are really, really not taking good care of the car. So the fact that this is still actually going. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, engine, don't conk out while upside down. Uh, fine. And Ollie is very much just crawling around back there. So I think, well... As long as, um, oh, Speed Beast has lost a steering rail. I think they're a long way ahead, though, so it's unlikely that we're going to pass them. How is this engine alive? How on earth is this engine? Da we're going to overtake Danger Man. How is this car alive? I. <laughs> Like, I am genuinely astounded. There is absolutely... If this car... Is, surely this cannot make it to the finish line here. Surely. There is zero chance this car can make it to the finish line. I don't think it would make that lap. It is now starting to, to, to dump its power. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not found a gear. 
Why are you not going to first, car? Oh, there we go. It has found a gear. Uh, it's not, uh, yeah, well, it is, it is definitely poorly. It's definitely an unhappy, an unhappy burn side. Is Brazen still moving or is Brazen broken down? I think, I don't think I'm going to take it out of first gear anymore. I don't think I can afford to uh, take it out of first gear anymore. Ollie has broken down. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, come on, Burnside. We are going to overtake Speed Beast. Yes, we've got another position. How on earth is this car that I have had absolutely zero mechanical sympathy for? And Lado is a long way away. So Lado's conked that out. Engine is starved of oil. I am aware of this. The radiator's gone at some point. Um... There is in Pega. Are we going to... Oh, no, the engine's gone. Oh, it died. In Pega went out, I think, a lap before. Uh <laughs> oh, that ladder got going again. Ladder must have flipped. Christ. Uh, <laughs> the burn side was running on magic for a long time. That was astonishing resilience right there from a burn side. Well done. Well done. I am impressed with your ability to not explode on that one. The burn side, I mean, we're probably going to end up in about fourth by the looks of it. Uh, hello, Shadow. <laughs> Brazen is going to win. Lado's going to come home in second, pushing Danger Man onto another lap. And I think Amy will end up in third. Uh, so there we go. So yeah, Brazen wins. I mean, it is the... It's a Legron, actually, that got a victory, uh, followed by an I-Series, and then the Piccolina Baja version is going to come third. Yeah, we got fourth at the end of all that, uh, which is a great... It's a great performance from a car that I paid zero care to for quite a lot of that. <laughs> so, that's... You know, if I treated you better, Burnside, you could have probably made it to the finish. Although, if I had, I think he would have still ended up fourth anyway, regardless. Um, but there we go. The Piccolina doesn't seem very healthy. Oh, no. Just being careful across there. There we have it. Top three make it. Um, well done to all of you. Danger Man with a, a quick... Oh, I respawn into the way of the dirt. I, that was a good run. I'm, I'm happy with that run. Yeah. Not the strongest finishing position, but a fantastic run, nevertheless. Um, right, okay. This next round, it is going to be track and race cars only. You are not allowed to make any adjustments to the spec, to the tuning. None of that. It has to be as they come from the, like, screen selection track and race cars only no rally cars no sneaky nonsense like that god knows what i'm going to go for uh 200 bx we know is quite strong uh the track version we know the wheels are quite strong on that we know they're pretty good um Most cars have a track or race spec of some description. Uh, none of those, I would say, are track specs. Hmm. Hmm. An I-Series. We know they're quite strong. There is a track I-Series. It's essentially a DTM car. I like the... Uh, I like the I-Series. Now, all of these are going to be on slicks. Um, they're all going to be difficult to drive things. Um, so, we will see. There there are track and race versions of the... Uh, is there a track hopper? Oh, there is a track hopper. Yeah, there is, actually. I was going to say, there's, there's a track version of the uh, Ro... Uh, certainly the D-Series, actually. Um, I'm not going to drive the Scintilla. It's horrible. Um... We're just going to go get this loading. Um, 
Uh, Liquid, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, uh, happy going midsummer, Alex. Long time viewer, first time donator. Ah, well, thank you very much indeed. So, any chance of doing a full drag spec lineup? There is indeed a chance of a full drag spec lineup at some point along the way. There is a lot of cherries in this one. Um, yeah, take a little while to get through to them, but there is definitely a chance to see that. Um, uh, Ferrific, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, love all the all the content and the fails. Uh, have a good and failful stream. Uh, can we have a race with all vehicles having anything but having four to six inflated wheels? So either more or less wheels, or you can pre-deflate some of your wheels. Uh, you cannot take off... I don't think you can deflate tyres, unfortunately. Um, as far as I'm aware, I don't think you can. I could be wrong, but I do not think you can. Uh, I might go, I might actually go for the D-Series race vehicle, because for variety's sake. Uh, here is the track one. Now, I get a little bit more... I get a little bit more ride height, but... It's very long. Um, <laughs> Danger Man's got the safety car. <laughs> this is a mad, eclectic group of vehicles. Uh, who knows what we're going to see from from this one. Uh, Crazy Cobra, thank you for the super chat. Saying, can you do muscle cars, but you have to remove the brakes? We could definitely have a go with that one at some point. Um, Arts, thank you for the donation. Uh, Saying, it's me again. And this means suffering time has come. If you happen to meet Spaniards, you should tell them uh, mucho. It means a lot to them. That is going to be a boo to you from me and from chat, indeed. Uh, oh, Petrolhead, I did miss your super chat. I do apologise. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the super chats. So, you know that... Uh, I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. Car I talked about. It's been, it's been revealed the prices start... 137,000 pounds, a combined power output uh, of 800, essentially. It's a US Italian company. It looks very cool, and it's called a sedan. I did see that, actually. I saw it. Actually, I, I think you might have uh, sent it to me on Twitter. I have seen it as well somewhere else. I saw it before that as well. Weird-looking thing. Kind of cool. I think I still have a Taycan, personally, if I was getting a big electric um, saloon car sort of thing. But... Um, yeah, it does look cool. And it'd be good to have some more competitors to the Taycan and so on. Um, so, there we go. Uh, so, I'm just reading donations. We'll start this round in a second. Chris, thank you for the donation. I say, a base model Porsche McCann costs £47,000. However, if you were to add every single option, it would come to a staggering £117,000. Uh, Jesus. With options such as a custom piece luggage set at £4,000 and leather air vents at £1,200. So the leather air vents on a McCann cost more than my MX-5 did when I bought it. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> that is absolutely mad. Jeez. Um, I'm actually surprised the base spec McCann is that cheap. I just assumed they were more expensive. My game is also crashing while trying to event queue. Um, <laughs> hold on, we'll get there. Uh, Tyler, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, saying Shadow is quickly becoming one of my favourites from the Fail Race crew. Uh, did I press quit? Or has my game crashed? I might, might have pressed quit instead of... I think I did. Oh, yeah, I think I did. Hold on. I've got to reload. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, think I, I, th I think I must have just slightly missed the event Q button and pressed the quit button. Uh, anyway... Um, uh, Tyler was like, how, how did Shadow become part of the team? Uh, so, I can't remember what it was. So Shadow took part in some Versus the Community, to take part in some streams. Uh, we'd known they were a, uh, a quick and decent driver, and we needed extra numbers for something. I can't remember what it was exactly, actually. And that was, you know, when we were going through, oh, we need some more people. You know, we remembered that Shadow had, had been good in the streams and in, in the verse communities and all of that. And that's when they were added. Um, this, that's generally how people get added, is when, we, when we're starting to need more numbers to do something or other. Uh, we go, okay, who, 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 has, who has impressed us uh, during streams and during verse the communities? And yeah, has, has the games that we are likely to be needing them for. And that's how, 
how people generally um, uh, get added uh, to to the filming crew, essentially. Um, all right. Game, are you crashing again? My game is having problems. <laughs> Bear with. Oh, aha! Okay, it's not, it's unfrozen itself. We're back! Right, oh. Why are there, oh no, I thought, oh, I thought there were two Amy's for a minute. Nope, it was just Lado and Amy. Okay, we will get our being. Oh yeah, the only exception to that story is Danger Man, who was added by accident and has stayed around. <laughs> stayed around. I don't know if Danger Man, yeah, Danger Man might be the only person who has been added by accident uh, to filming and like, ah, oh, well, they're quite fast. We'll give them a chance. Uh, <laughs> um... That, that, that is that is true that is true um, all right let's go and and do that uh, swaying grass was beside longbow who's from the furthest country uh I mean your speed beast is from America uh, Longbow's Canada we don't have any Australians or Kiwis and it's it's good time zones I would imagine um, so yeah that would be that would be that as far as I know. We're, it's it's mostly Europeans, well, most mostly England, uh, but we have uh, various Europeans around. Um, but yeah, time zones make it difficult for, for further afield. It's not too bad for the Americans and you know, for Speed Beast for for Longbow for that for that time zone. It's not the worst. It would be very difficult for like we would love to have people from Australia, of course, but it would be very difficult time zone wise uh, to get that. Right, I think we are ready to go for this uh, wacky round of race steel destruction. Let us, oh, I have lost my command because I disconnected. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, Danger Man is off. <laughs> the cars have shot forward. Uh, Speed Beast has shot forward at a million miles an hour and had a tremendous accident. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think that really helped. Uh, if I'm being honest, Brazen's gone round. Uh, we are just kind of biding our time a little bit here. Uh, can I put the power down there? I can. Uh, Ollie has got to the... Not quite to the front. The safety car continues to lead the way, as it should. Uh, <laughs> oh, Shadow's gone for a spin. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not stopping. I'm sorry. <laughs> there has been a little bit of a bump. No, it wasn't a bump and run. We didn't actually overtake. There was definitely a bump on the sunburst, and the sunburst is shedding bits of bodywork at me. Uh, that's, well, not ideal. Now, we should be. Oh, Danger Man was going slowly. Uh, we have picked up the safety car. I'm carrying a safety car. It's now a danger car. Uh, <laughs> okay, I didn't realise Danger Man was going slowly up there, because I could see it behind Amy's car, I think it was. Uh, right, we are going to ease it off a little bit. Shadow's caught up. And a lot of turbo noise and Shadow's fallen over. And Amy's off the circuit. Shadow may or may not have lost a wheel and Danger Man has turned up. Oh. Well, that was rude. I didn't intentionally carry you about. It was an accident. Rusky's fallen over. I'm the wrong side of a hill. Um, right. Oh, Rusky's in the way a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Ollie with a massive lead because we've all fought, we've all crashed into each other basically. Now on my screen it shows Shadow as having lost a wheel. I don't think that car has lost a wheel. It's not impossible that it has. Oh, that was close. Uh, right, Lado's car looks like it's been involved in an accident somewhere. Rusky's hoppers here. Hello. Uh, now we should be good enough down here to make this as a double. In fact, we probably don't even need to be flat for this because we're going to be going quick. Lado's. A little bit skew whiff through there, but we are fine. Uh, now, there's a few overheating cars, and we are not. So, we're still on a three lap race here. There is still. I think there's a good chance for me if I don't do anything stupid. I might not be able to beat Ollie, although it did look like Ollie's car may have been overheating from the get go, not sure. Um, or from early on. I think I've just seen Brazen's gone for a roll off of this section up here. Uh, maybe. Brazen's got going again either way. I'm liking my truck. Honestly, it's not a bad shout, this. Lado's sending it in, in typical Lado fashion. I am not at the moment. 
Oh, well, I am apparently. I was helped by a Rusky. Because uh, <laughs> Rusky has got the suspension to do this. Well, a bit more to spare. I don't actually know, because that will be all, like, trackified. Well, Rusky's going for it. And has spun. Whoa. Hello. Don't mind me. All right. Okay, that section has cost us a little bit. Ollie with a massive lead, but it looks to be smoking or steaming heavily. Lado is also steaming, and that's not going to be a good look for the I-Series, I wouldn't have thought. Brazen, I don't know what the Cobbett condition is. I feel like my truck is in the best condition of the top four, five, uh, in terms of survivability for the remainder of the race, but we have not got track position at the moment. So some other cut Ollie certainly, if it isn't overheating, or if Brazen's isn't overheating, they might just back it off, play it safe, knowing that I have to push really hard to catch up. Uh, now I can push it hard, we've still got good steering, we've still got good suspension. Uh, oh, Lado sideways. We are sideways to the inside. Oh, a little bit of a drift tap on Lado. Uh, over the jump we go. So I'm trying to protect my- I'm still protecting my car a little bit here. Because even if I absolutely boot it, I don't think I can catch up anyway. Uh, some of these jumps I will be taking a little bit more risk on, if I believe my car is capable of doing it, which I think we are. Um, Danger Man's car looks quite broken. Ollie's is definitely overheating. Whether that's overheating enough to break it, I don't know. Has Brazen? Brazen's lost a lot of time, which makes me think Brazen may have rolled down here. That was a bit of a clonk on the front I didn't really want. Uh, but there we go. Is Danger Man going to be going slow up here? Yes. So I'm not going to... I was going to take that as a jump. However, Danger Man's car would have been in the way. So I didn't want to hit that. Oh, Ollie's broken down. Ollie has broken down on Radiator Springs. Brazen leads the way. Okay, we've just got to... The Wendover is over. We have just got to catch... Oh, well, we haven't really got to do too much by the looks of it. That's a poorly, poorly covered. Uh, <laughs> that's that's having a bad day. Uh, safety car is in this lap. Uh, come on, race truck. Fly through the air. You will fly through the air quite nicely. Uh, I'm just going to follow a covert, I think. I don't know if anybody else is actually still moving. And over we go. And over the next one we go. I mean, it's a it's a crunching bounce when we hit the floor with this. Uh, Rusky's hopper is still moving, uh, which is quite impressive. Um, and again we go. Uh, it's clonky, clonky, crashy time. That's fine. Now, there is a chance. So I am thinking this covert's dying. Uh, now, there is a chance that steam is actually not there. It can sometimes be a bit of desync damage. Um, so I can't afford to go too slowly in case that that is, uh, that is not, I say is not real. Um, the engine definitely did not turn off game. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, the red dots on the vehicle, this is to do with the teleporters on this map. It's to do with how the teleporters pick up where the vehicles are. So, yeah, that's, that's what those are. Oh, we are across there. The cover. I think is having an engine death at the moment. Uh, Speed Beast and Rusky are still going. And I don't know where Shadow is. I think Brazen has had a death. <laughs> Tim is dead. Apparently that was the name of Brazen's car. Brazen is no more. We have got just a lap to go in the truck. Pretty damn solid option, to be honest. Um, I was slightly worried in some ways. I don't know. There might be some all-wheel drive race cars. I figured were going to be actually quite quick. Um, but no, this has been a very, very strong option. A uh, little cheesy, maybe. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely doing, doing well. Uh, we will be a little bit more banzai on the final lap, I think just because we can. And if I'm, I'm going to hit something... Oh, Shadow is still going. <laughs> that car just is also one of those just it refuses to die sort of cars. And across nicely we go again. It, I mean, it, we clonk about. But we don't clonk too badly. Danger Man has made an awkward roadblock up here. Oh. 
with shed bits. <laughs> well, an attempt was made. Dying cars tried to block the truck. <laughs> Dying cars did not successfully block the truck. Uh, oh, I've got a bit of... I'm eating my own bumper at the moment. I, for a second, I thought my front wheel was flapping. And then the, the dying cars would have had the last laugh. However, it is not a wheel flapping. It is just a bumper. Although, to be fair, bumpers can also be quite sketchy uh, in this game sometimes. Please be free, bumper. Be free. Over that note. Okay, fine. I guess you're coming with it. Uh... <laughs> right, we're just going to carry, uh, it's not even really the bumper, it's just like the grill, essentially, that is coming round with us. Oh, we're keeping at a nice sort of speed, whereby when we hit the ground, we're not hitting the nose. We're hitting the nose a little bit there. Just trying to just make sure we're not smacking oil pan or radio. Not that that's like, if it breaks now, it doesn't really matter if we lose the oil pan or the radiator. I'm not going to go mad down here, though. Because we could break steering. So I'm not going to go mad down here. We should be able to do doubles like that. And then a single. And then a double. Ooh, not quite. Need a little bit more speed. And double will work. Yeah. <laughs> Even this race truck isn't phased by that at all. There is the demise of the Covert. There is the demise of the Speed Beast. What were they in? Battle Hawk thing. Bastion. Whee! We are wide. Yeah, the race truck is good. The, the race truck is stalled. Excuse me. Truck. There we go. <laughs> it would have been funny had it broken down just as we crossed the finish line. Yeah, race truck, probably a little bit strong, if I'm being honest, in this field. Um... But yeah, oh, the moving obstacles are occurring. Shadow is still going. Shadow versus Rusky over second place here. Uh, who will manage to get it? Um, uh, Faint, thank you very much for the super chat. In a currency, I do not know. Isk? Uh, we're playing the game of guess the currency. Isk. Uh, I want to say Icelandic something. Is that the, like the Icelandic kroner or krone or maybe um because you have like knock and sec that are the norwegian and swedish um but i haven't even read the super chat i was just playing the game against the currency i was like hello mr fail racing crew hope your day is going better than mine oh no uh my day has been going well i hope yours improves um it's like a funny idea how about everyone gets into a uh, bro dozer, basically we're all same size wheel must fit between top of the wheel and wheel well. I don't know if we can do that on the game. We can we can do donks. We can do donks. Um, oh, it is the Icelandic one. Okay, I forget because it happens once and then uh, I've forgotten by now. I will not remember in 10 minutes because I'm busy doing, you know, the stream, bit, the stream bit. I try. I try my best. But there's no guarantee in 10 minutes I'll remember anything. Um, but yeah, we can potentially do a round of donks. Um, yeah, we are limited by what the game allows us to do and what mods we have. I think we have some donks around the place. Um, but yeah, there could potentially be a round of donks uh, later on. I, just, I can't guarantee everything. But uh, yeah, we will try and... We will try and get there. Um, uh, Dutch, thank you very much for the donation. I say, what CPU do you have? As this is a very CPU heavy game. And it's running not too bad with 10 cars loaded in. I have an Intel i9 something. I don't remember. I'm not a particular uh, computer person. And I spec this computer a very long time ago and I have long since forgotten. Uh, <laughs> every so often I, I find the thing on my computer that tells me the specs and then I remember. I think it's an i9 something or other. Um, it, at the time when I bought it, it was incredibly high-end. Nowadays it's a bit medium. After I've dealt with all the house moving stuff, I'm probably going to be looking to upgrade. But, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's an i9 something or other. But I don't remember the numbers. Or it might be an i7. I think it was a 9. But I, yeah, really don't remember. Uh, at some point. Actually, can I 
Can I check without breaking everything? No, I can't find it easily. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, oh, right. Next vehicles. While I read stuff. Uh, next vehicles. We are going to go to... Okay, so we're going to do super lights. Um, so you, your car cannot weigh more than 1,100 kilos. I say super lights, but to be fair, in terms of modern cars, that's very light. Um, so, yeah. Must, must be less than 1,100 kilos. Um, I don't know if much... We're going to stick with, with just that, just to, to not go too crazy on the old limitations. Um... And, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm going to run here. Because uh, anything with four-wheel drive, I'm sure, going to be too heavy. Um, I think you're going to really struggle to get some super lights if you don't go for, like, a cover. We don't have the Chizé mod. You might get a 200BX, you know. Cass, what are you doing rolling around on your back like a dog? Cass is currently rolling around on the office floor like a dog. You know when dogs go into like a nice fresh cut field and they just roll around like a lunatic? Apollo does it sometimes. Um, and Cass is just doing that in the office. Really? Re You're a strange cat, Cass. Do you want belly rubs? I can't give you belly rubs. He's far too far away. Uh... <laughs> Uh, maybe a super light sunburst. I don't think I can get a sunburst to weigh. Well, let's just see how much, like, the most bogo spec sunburst weighs. Can I get it down to 1,100? Okay. It's kind of close. It's kind I don't want a widgeon. Why am I over here? Oh, did some twat push me through that? You know what? I'm going to take my time. <laughs> some twat pushed me through the teleporter. <laughs> Uh, right, interior. No, I want empty, but it doesn't give me that option. Right, don't want ABS. Um, definitely don't want that. Right, I do want a fuel tank. I do want a fuel tank. Um, okay, we don't want a headlight. Essentially, if we don't need it, our car is going on an extreme diet at the moment. I might give the car a little bit more power, but do I do need a radiator. In fact, ultra high performance radiator um, might be slightly lighter. I even say some twat it was all of us. Well, I I still think I was pretty accurate then. Uh, it was just some just add an S on the end of twat. <laughs> that's that's all you need to do. It's just some twats instead of a singular twat. It was the multiple twats. Uh, can I actually? I, I I don't know if I can even save enough weight on this car because. Uh, we're taking. I'm trying to take. I mean, basically, we are taking up fairly, no, oh, fairly small stuff here. Uh, tail light gone. That gone. That even. I'm trying to figure out whether it's even bloody changing at the moment. Uh, okay, empty. Okay, it is saving some right. Doors have got to come off. The doors have got to weigh a bit, right? It's got to be 1,100 kilos. I might... It's going to be so close to doing it. Uh, Alright, doors. Just get rid of them. I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think it's going to work. I think I'm going to waste all of this time trying to put my sunburst on a very ridiculous diet. I don't know if it's going to work. Win yeah, we've got windshield, we've got back window as well. We're taking off quarter panels. Oh, can I not even get rid of them? Uh, sunroof, that's... Plain roof is going to be lighter, surely. Uh, okay, how far away? 1,190. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I think we're going to struggle. But we are still trying. Um, oh, the steering wheel is heavy, right? Steering wheel, that can come off. We don't need that. Uh, it has made zero difference on this car. 
Rear bumper, we definitely don't need that. Off with you. Trunk, we don't need that. We're down to 1,170, 1,160. Hood, that's got to go. I don't really think, outside of, I can't take off the quarter panels. I'm going to guess these ones here are maybe lighter. Nope, they were heavier. The sport ones are heavier. Uh, so we've got two bits of glass. We've got windscreen. That can come out. That's only saved us a little bit. Is there any... What was the back one called? Uh, thanks, Lado. Uh, don't know what the back one is called. Uh, oh, there is another thing I can do. I can drop a load of fuel out of it. And hope we have enough to last... Oh, we need to find 10 kilos! Come on! How do I find 10 kilos? Maybe exhaust. Uh, oh. Backlight? Backlight. Aha! Because it has got a light in the window. Come on! Yes! Yes! We made the weight! Just... Really just. Uh, <laughs> that's 1,100 kilos. <laughs> I was going to go for, like, the, the, I might even go for, like, a sport exhaust. Might be lighter. Because um, we could go, like, race exhaust. In theory, a race exhaust should be lighter, right? Just kept it the same. Um... Is it like is a performance block lighter? No, apparently they're all the same weight. Um, okay, I was just curious whether any of that changed it. Nope, not really. <laughs> I mean, I like I could take no exhaust, but I also don't want to deafen everyone. Uh, it will break immediately, but it's fun. Uh, we we got we got distracted doing silly things and forgot that there is supposed to be oh yeah actually oh, I mean I say oil pan uh, I'll give it a slight more of a chance um, the race one in theory uh, wait could I front bumper support I missed that oh we saved 20 kilos actually you know what because I know it, it, it fits I might keep do we reckon that will protect the radiator a bit better I don't think it will. No, we'll save some more money. Money? Save some more weight. There we have it. <sighs> right. Let us whiz our way back over here. Sorry, we were farting about. There's probably going to be a lot of widgeons and pigeons and silliness uh, over here. Uh, right. We are just the most stripped out sunburst you could ever imagine. Let's see what everybody else has got, because we were bullied our way over here. We could have gone lighter wheels if we got desperate. Like, there were things we could have done. I've managed to do it without going down that route. So, there we go. Um, uh, <laughs> Liquid, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Uh, saying, speaking of the Taycan, the only reason why I wouldn't want one is simple. It's an EV that has Turbo S in, in its name. It just doesn't make sense. I do agree, it's a really silly name. It's a really silly name for a um, for for an EV. I do I like the Taycan Estate Car, whatever the thing's called. Um, I really like the Shooting Brake Taycan. I think it's a really really cool vehicle. Uh, I would a hundred percent have that if I could. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're very expensive. They're very expensive. What is Speed Beast driving? I don't even know what that is. Is oh is that the Volkswagen? thing that we have the goal. I think it is. Shall we have a quick look at some weights? Brazen's is very light. Ruskies is 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 there. Speed Beast is there. Are we the heaviest? The Piccolinas are light. 800 kilos, 700 kilos. Danger Man is under a thousand. I'm surprised the touring car is under a thousand or is under the 1,100 but it is and Ollie has got some big off-roady race tires on that which is cool. Um, 
Uh, hello, Cass. Uh, we did have a turbo electric car in the long drive, but that was a mod that shouldn't have let us do that, basically. Uh, <laughs> so that, yeah. Yeah, in real life it doesn't work. Although I say that, um, the... I used to race remote control cars, and there was always a turbo mode on some speed controllers. I don't know what it did, but it just made it horrifically... Well, it made it stupendously fast and a little bit uncontrollable uh, when you race on a small circuit. So they used to be... Um, uh, yeah, there was a turbo mode on an electric uh, remote control car. Anyway, let's see. We are all-wheel drive, which is one of the plus points, and part of the reason why I went for this. Uh, we have got a pretty good power-to-weight ratio. Mind you. Hello, Cass. I know. I know, buddy. Um, we are all-wheel drive. We are gonna be not not too bad in terms of the performance. Uh, I don't think. It's survivability is a whole other story. Brusky's vehicles looks dangerous. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, we're gonna try and punch our way past Shadow, which we do. And not quite to the inside, or well, it, it wasn't really quite to the inside of Rusky. However, Rusky had an accident on their own, so it didn't really matter. Hello, Danger Man. Um, it's the Danger Safety Car again. Well, the Danger Safety Car got hit by the Touring Car. Oh, dear. Uh, it's like that World Touring Car moment all over again. Only, well, this time with a flying Touring Car. Oh, Danger Man sent it. Oh, I've broken my induction system. That's not so good. Um... So yeah, my, my problem is ride height. I don't quite have that. Um, oh, maybe I should have started with a rally spec of Sunburst. Uh, right, oh, that's a little bit too big of a jump. Oh, that was good, though. That works. Oh, hello, Rusky. <laughs> Look, there's very little of my car left. Please do not bend the frame. Uh, Rusky is just sending that. Oh, dear. I don't want to make more contact with that than is necessary, really. We're all down through Radiator Springs. The leaders are not too far away. We're still very much in this fight. Uh, I feel like I might stand a better chance at longevity, perhaps, than some... Oh, Danger Man with a spin in front of us. Danger Man has damage. Brazen's had a spin as well. There's definitely some wheel damage going on. Oh, that's way too big. Oh, please survive Sunburst. Uh-oh. Oh. We're doing an endo. I am now spun in the middle of the track. We have recovered, though, from that one. All right. Okay, so this car is fast enough. I mean, probably because it's light enough, but it's definitely quick enough that uh, over the jumps is going to... We have to actually be a little bit careful. Um, the Picolinas, of course, have got the suspension for this. They're probably not as quick accelerating as me, but they have got the suspension to deal with this that I don't have. Um... So, yeah. Oh, I thought about going for it. Maybe I should have done, although Amy's showing the exact reason why you've got to be careful. Because even though it's got good suspension, that is asking for a broken wheel. In fact, Lado has lost the lead to Ollie in all of this. Will that Pazima Touring car be able to make it? Uh, that is a very good question. So the, to the Pazima Touring car is quite light. I'm going to guess because it's stripped out to be a race car. The actual... And it's front-wheel drive. That is another thing to bear in mind here. I am all-wheel drive. A lot of these are two-wheel drive. So that's where a lot of the weight for me comes in, is that we are an all-wheel drive car. That's why I went for this, but I knew it was going to be really difficult to get it to the limit. Um, here. So, yeah. Ollie's is front-wheel drive. That will save a lot of weight. Lados is, well, rear-engined rear-wheel drive. Also will save a lot of weight in comparison to my front-engine four-wheel drive. Um, that's where a lot, of the, a lot of the weight went in this. That Piccolina does not look like it turns anymore. Uh, my hope is that Ollie's car will die, essentially. And it is. It is conking out up there. Uh, I can see the steam rising from it. Shouldn't have gone for that one, but I did. Oh, no. Ow. <laughs> Lado saw an opportunity and Lado took it. It actually didn't really do much. I mean, I am tempted to, if I see an opportunity, if I, if I see an opportunity, we will 100%. Oh no, I'm now front wheel drive. Well, I guess I'm joining Ollie in the front wheel drive squad. Um, that's fine. Oh. 
Oh no, never mind. Let's fight. Oh well. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh no, wait. Can I drive on one wheel? Can I do that? Oh, I thought it was spinning the wheel, but it doesn't. Oh well. <laughs> it didn't take long. Um, it did not. It did not take long for that to go wrong. Yeah. Probably should have just backed it off when I broke a drive shaft. Um, but oh well. <laughs> Sunburst is dead. Uh, that was. It was a good idea. I think it was. Uh, I think it was too aggressively driven. I think it was too aggressively driven trying to crash into a Lado. I got goaded into a race with Lado. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Lado wins this time. Uh, oh, that sounded like a horrible, horrible crunch. It's continuing to sound like a horrible, horrible crunch on that uh, sunburst. The Piccolina... The Piccolina's kind of good until the suspension breaks, and then it's a lot less good. Amy's back up to third. I think Rusky has broken down. Um, Brazen's actually going quite well. Um, surprisingly well, actually, uh, on that one. The... Pazima is still going. The uh, the Pazima is still rolling around. Shadow's Piccolina is heavily, heavily damaged on the steering right there. Uh, that, is, that is very, very broken on the steering front. It's still moving, but it is heavily damaged. Speed Beast is still going with that. Um, yeah, Rusky's car is conked out. I don't know what broke on that. Maybe a drive shaft. No, it looks like it's intact, but who knows. Uh, right, so, the question is, will Ollie's Pazima survive till the end? Lado is losing ground to Amy. Lado's got steering issues. Big steering issues with the Piccolina. I think one of the front wheels. Well, this damage doesn't always sink. It does, certainly, something's gone wrong in the steering of that car. It just doesn't turn properly. Um, Amy's probably isn't great. It's probably not all that healthy. However, uh is in a lot better condition than Lado's. Oh! <laughs> the Piccolinas have murdered each other. <laughs> well, all of this plays great into the hands of Ollie. If that doesn't break down, the Piccolinas are not going to catch. Oh, God, I would not be taking that jump. I would not be taking that jump at that sort of speed. Or Danger Man overtook us and then immediately broke down. Uh, the battle for second has gone the way of Amy for the moment. Uh, and I don't think Lado has the steering to really compete there uh, at the moment. So unless something goes wrong for Amy's like that... No, no, we recovered quite well. Lado's is bouncing around across the jumps. Uh, as we head up towards... I mean, they will remember that my car is stricken there. We'll have the nameplate to remind them that my car is stricken up there. Uh, and... There goes a Lado. I don't even think Lado would have the steering to crash into us, even if, even if they wanted to. Oh, that might kill it. That is not an angle you want to take that jump at. Now, can Lado actually get that back on course? If you fall off the course like that, you don't have to. You know, I think Lado may have lost steering, <laughs> judging by the want to crash into a danger man. <laughs> I don't know. His crash welded. Uh, <laughs> Right, Ollie oh, shadows out, broken steering, I presume, has gone straight on at the final corner. Lado has somehow pulled himself away from Danger Man. Doesn't really pull himself around a corner, but there we go. Brazen and Speed Beast are still going over there. Oh, Ollie, you've just got to make this last corner. Uh... Oh, no, don't tell me that's broken down there. Is it beached or is it is it broken? It's one corner away. No, Ollie's engine's out. Ollie, well, Ollie is still the leader. However, however, if Amy's vehicle does not break down, as Amy immediately does a front flip and lands it, if Amy, well, if that wheel is that damaged, Amy could be in trouble here, but it might still be able to make it. Ollie is immobilized. Amy has just now got to make two corners. Two corners for, well, one corner actually to beat Ollie. It will make that corner. And then 
this bit here you don't really need steering for. And then it is one more corner for the finish line. Uh, <laughs> that is so desperately unlucky for the Pazima Touring car. Amy will win. The Piccolina does it. Lado is still moving somewhere over there with a heavily broken car. Brazen is out. The, uh, oh no. <laughs> the Pigeon is eliminated. And I don't know where Speed Beast ended up. Uh, oh, Speed Beast ended up dead after Radiator Springs. Um, so there we go. Amy has won wherever the cars are. It's jumped over there. It's now really a question of can Lado somehow make it in an absolutely battered Piccolina. I mean, none of the wheels... Again, there's a little bit of desync on the damage, but we know the steering is heavily broken in that car. Um, none of the wheels point the way... It's, none of the wheels point straight, I don't think, on this car anymore. Um, it's, yeah, can that make it? A couple more corners. The, uh... It's difficult. So the Piccolini has had the best suspension for this by a long way. Um, Uh-oh. Lado might have lost all steering here. Now, you can let the gravity roll the car backwards. Uh, you're not technically supposed to use reverse. Um, although it does seem to steer left, so I don't know whether there was some debris caught or something. Um... I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it's it's definitely... If it, no, it does still to be able to turn left and right. It doesn't seem to be all that consistent, but uh, it's going to be a Piccolina 1-2. The only two to finish. Ollie is third. Great performance. Desperately unlucky for that. I I should have done better. I, the, the downside of the Sunburst it did not have the good enough suspension like the Piccolinas. However, should definitely have done better than that. I got goaded into a race I shouldn't have been a part of, uh, basically. <laughs> but there you go. That is the way it goes sometimes. That is the way it goes. Well done, Amy. Amy's got to go as well. Uh, thank you for hosting the server, as ever. Uh, and Amy got the victory in their, in their final race. Right, what a what a what a contest, and what terrible luck that was for Ollie. All uh, right, our next vehicle is go. Our next class uh, is going to be ah. We were going to go do full drag spec. So last time around, we've had some track cars. Uh, we've had some we've had some track cars go. So. We are going to next go for drag spec vehicles. Now, you can use any of the vehicles that have a drag, a pre-built drag spec for them. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to go the drag hopper just for the wibbly-wobbly fall over nature. I mean, you've got the, you've got the hopper. I'm not going to drive the, the, the D-series. Because we used that for the track car, and yeah, it was... Is there a drag spec goal? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, no, there is not. That's fine. Um, uh, is there a drag spec the case? I don't know the ETK has got a hold. Nope, there is a track version, but no drag spec. That's fine. I suspect we're going to have a lot of drag hoppers, mostly because they're very funny. Uh, <laughs> we don't have Joe here. Say, is there a drag bastion? There must be. There is a drag bastion. Um, goes faster than a straight line. Now that is uh, that is generally the goal. Now I've got, to, I've got to join the brigade of drag hoppers that I'm sure are about to turn up. Uh, just because they're so, they're such short wheelbase, so much power and so wobbly. Uh, that they are hilarious to race. Uh, I think we have done an all drag hopper race at some point, maybe. Like a driven till destruction. Uh, let's see what others have brought. If I'm the only one with a hopper and everyone else is in cars, I will change. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be the only one in a hopper. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, that has got a Roma. Brazen has a blue buck. I mean, so this will do. Can I? Uh, there we go. Hey! <laughs> it has so much power and torque. It just does. It just twists the chassis as it launches. It's glorious. Uh, I love it. Oh, hey! Hello! <laughs> 
that. Well, that's not gone quite how I expected it to. <laughs> uh, sorry, Shadow. We stole your roof rack. Sorry. Well, I'm not all that sorry, but it was it was amazingly spectacular. Ollie has got the drag Pazima. Uh, that's... That we'll try for an avenge. Avenge the touring car. Go for it. So Shadow has got the... You know, probably sensible, more sensible route. Oh, Speed Beast has gone the very not sensible route. Uh, <laughs> yeah, drag pigeon, go for it. Technically does count. Technically does count. So, we've got three of the drag... So we've got one of each of the drag trucks. We have Hopper, Roma, and D-Series. Danger Man has the Bastion. Ollie has... The Prezima that I don't know if it's still front-wheel drive. That may be a front-wheel drive drag car. And they do exist. Uh, absolutely. There's a you know, whole front-wheel drive class. Mad things. I have seen them go. <laughs> I've seen them go down Santa Pod. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Rusky has a 200PX, of course. And Brazen has got the Blue Buck. Uh, I think. Unless I do this event queue and everything swaps. Which is possible. Uh, Speed Beast is in the Pigeon. The glorious, glorious pigeon. That honestly, knowing us, we're all going to break our cars, and the pigeon will probably win. Like it wouldn't surprise me. I, w I wouldn't put it past us to end up doing something like that, because uh, this is fail race after all. Right, I think we are all ready to go. It's the worst grid in history because we're just gonna. Well, I'm not actually gonna launch straight away because I do not want to crash into this lot. So we will again have the countdown. Three lap race for our very fast cars and we will let them launch themselves forward slightly uh, now of course everyone is on drag tyres so no one has any grip everyone is two wheel drive well Danger Man has a siren going on we are going to sneak our way to the inside uh, I think we all have a we all probably have the same engine or very similar engines uh, in them. Certainly, like the Roma, the Hopper, all of us have got the same engine. 850 horsepower going on. Lado is drifting. We are drifting towards Lado. Oh! We have been slightly Ladoed. To be fair, I could see it happening and I couldn't get out of the way in time. Oh. I have had a spin. All on my own, that one. <laughs> right. Uh, it's fine. It's, you know, we've got a little bit of damage in the door, but you know, I can live with that. Oh, Lado's gone for a spin on their own. Christ, this thing, it's just so desperate to swap ends at all time. Got to be so careful with it. Uh, Rusky is almost understeered straight into the door of Lado, who is still struggling with their truck. I have bopped a Rusky. God, my front tyres. <laughs> He's got nothing. They've got no, very little control. Over my drag hopper, funnily. Who would have thought? Who would have thought the the drag hopper would be very fiddly to drive? Uh, now, I mean, in theory, these things are very quick. If I can put the power down, oh, don't do that, don't do wheelies, don't do wheelies, don't do wheelies. Oh, God, don't make contact with cars in the air. The last thing I need is broken steering. Uh, there is... Danger Man's Bastion recovering. I wanted to boot it past Rusky while there was a little opportunity, and then we're very sideways. So, Ollie leads in that Pazima. Brazen is second, having had an accident. Will not be second for much longer. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Shadow. <laughs> oh, that's bad news. Have I broken my steering? Maybe. Uh, oh! Well... I mean, we have been lag punted a million miles off the circuit. Astonishingly, I am not dead. Um, how do I get back? Oh, God. Uh, right. Well, I've lost a tyre, and my steering, it was badly broken, is now worse. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, a, a lag from Rusky has absolutely sent us, heavily damaged our vehicle. Uh, Lado has had steering failure and is out. I don't know how I'm going to survive this round, basically. I, I, I can probably do it. In fact, 
Ollie's not actually that far away. I think Ollie's got... Ollie must have lost some time somewhere. Uh, oh, trying to do these doubles is probably a bit dangerous for heavily damaged truck. Or have, it's the steering damage that's the issue. And, I mean, I've got a flat tyre. I've got a chunked tyre, essentially. I've got a massive hole in it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not great. It's not really my steering. Actually, I think my wheel, the whole rear wheel is at a wonky angle. So Shadow leads with the D-Series. Ollie is breaking down, I think, considering we are now catching a fair bit. Yeah, Ollie's breaking down. The Pazima... While a valiant effort to uh, avenge the touring car's honor, it is starting to struggle a bit. Uh, oh, my handling is problematic. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Damn it. Tried to go round. The Pazima thought I could be cool and overtake it. Danger Man's had a crash with Rusky, although with the lag going on for that 200BX, honestly... I, I'm not surprised people not knowing quite how to pass it or deal with it. Um, it's, yeah. Oh, we're very sideways again. It's so erratic controls for this. And that's to be expected. As I said, it's so heavily damaged. It had bent the steering before, but this has just made it worse. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Um, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, Rusky has caught up. Oh, God. That's not what I don't want to see that. Uh, Ollie's very, very broken. <laughs> right, so Ollie is eliminated. The early leader is gone. It is now Shadow who is leading the way. It's me versus Rusky for second. Oh, uh, come on. I just can't get my vehicle to go in a straight line. Rich doesn't go in a straight line anymore. Oh, come on, Hopper. some points when it starts spinning, it's just quicker to just rotate it and go. It's certainly not steering damage. Like, we can still drive. Um, ah, okay. Ollie lost a half shaft, so it was one-wheel drive, and then it cooked the engine, trying to be a one-wheel drive. Fair enough. That is a difficult thing for a car to try and deal with. I don't know why I just rocked myself to falling over all of a sudden. Uh, oh, don't, didn't think we were doing anything that silly down there, but apparently so. Um... I've just realised, does this start with very low fuel, or have I drained a tank? I'm going to hope it started with very low fuel. Danger Man's car looks quite broken. Um, either Shadow is going very, very slowly, or Shadow is breaking down as well, and I'm not sure which. Uh, I do not have... I do not have the control to go over there and do the double anymore. Uh, Danger Man just sent it and hoped. Uh, oh. We'll get that bit of shadow debris out of the way. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that wheel and tyre at that angle is just makes this the most oversteery, horrible... It's, uh, it's not even just oversteer, it's just outright spins. It just, it just rotates so easily. Danger Man might have had a death of an engine right there. But to be back to third, so we've got to hope. We're hoping for breakdowns, really. That's that's the goal. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We need Rusky and Shadow to break. I mean, if we end up third, honestly, considering what happened to the... The fact that I'm in a drag spec vehicle that got lag cannoned off the circuit and it's still going around Baja tells you a lot um, about this vehicle. Oh, no. Uh... And we are gone. Well, we're gone in terms of falling over. We are not broken, thankfully. Can I do a J... Should I try a J turn? I feel like that's risky. Uh, <laughs> but we did it. Fantastic. Uh, the engine is gone in Danger Man's vehicle. Well, we were expecting that one. Rusky is still going, and I can't see steam coming out of any of the cars still running, which is kind of a shame. Uh... That would have been helpful for me if we could have done. Because uh, that's ooh, like overheating. Uh, Shadow's, nah, Shadow's still moving relatively well over there. Uh, come on, Hopper. We could, it would be very good if you could beat the car that lag murdered you. I don't think I can really push it fast enough. We can definitely 
You wish, you know, still going. This is me actually trying to drive it as fast as I can. Like, this is not me trying to protect it. I've got nothing to protect. Uh, I am desperately trying to drive this as quick as I can, but with my rear wheel out of center, the tire gone, and my steering bent, any faster than this and we just spin. So I have to be... Like, I, I appreciate we are not going very fast, however, this is just the absolute limit of what this vehicle is capable, or certainly what I am capable of getting this vehicle to do in terms of cornering and everything. We have caught Rusky a little bit. If we don't spin or flip or anything like that, maybe there's a little chance for us that we can do something here. Because we have caught Rusky. So maybe that vehicle is ailing slightly. We are definitely catching. Oh, the nameplate just disappeared. Rusky may have disconnected. It's going to be second for us! Or Rusky's further around the track and the nameplate just hasn't updated yet. Uh, oh god, I don't know where Rusky is. Rusky's suddenly teleported a long way around the other side of the map. Which maybe, maybe reset. Maybe got forced reset or something. Uh, I'm going to guess it looks like that happened or press reset by accident. Something happened there that was, that was not good or normal. Shadow is going to do it, I think. Well, um... Ah, okay, so Rusky's engine turned off and then reset by accident. That's a shame. So we don't actually get to know whether we could have chased them down or not. Because um, we were doing quite a good job of uh, catching. But there we go. Well, we hope Shadow... Well, it, it would be good for me if Shadow broke down on the final section like Ollie did in the previous race. I doubt the D-Series is going to somehow. The heavily damaged Hopper is going to limp its way around, barring an absolute catastrophe. I mean, catastrophes are possible. We know this. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not speak too soon, of course. Hello. Uh, but, barring a massive catastrophe, we should at least make it. Oh, because, yeah, the suspension is, is just about compliant enough for this. Shadow has crossed the line. Shadow has won the round. The D-Series, once again, the one to go for. I think because it's got that little bit more um, uh, wheelbase sort of length. It's a little bit more stable than the Hopper uh, when it comes to this sort of stuff. So it's probably one of the better choices. Lado unlucky with broken steering in the Roma, uh, which would have probably also been quite strong here. Uh, we will. We Come on, Jeep. Come on, make it to the finish line. We will be... Oh, speed. oh the pigeon's out. I forgot about the pigeon. Oh, no. And lands on your wheels. Hey, it did. I, f I completely forgot the pigeon was still circulating. The pigeon might have ended up third, actually. Which is quite damn good going. <laughs> All things considered. Uh, we will head around a final corner. And we will make it. Oh, the hopper does it. What a machine. What a machine. Considering what occurred, I am very happy with the Hopper. Well done, Hopper. You wonderful, wonderful... broken drag car. <laughs> and some celebratory donuts. Oh, and a little bit of a crash. Oh, there we go. It made it. Just, but it made it. Uh... <laughs> A uh, bum bum, thank you very much for the nation. Saying slidey slidey jeep. Positioning race must keep. Bum 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 bum. I mean I'm it's technically a haiku. I don't know whether I can give you a boo for it, but it's definitely technically a haiku at this point. Uh <laughs> Drake, thank you for the uh donation. So for a hill race event tonight, uh, when possibly started, you should do do so in cars from the 90s and noughties. Also, I heard Lado is planning to make his Renault van fly. All he needs is to find an airline that will let it sit in first class. <sighs> You're going to get a boo from me. Um, yeah, we'll see how we we'll see how we do over time on, on a hill climb. A hill climb race. We could definitely do something like that. Uh, let's just go and have a look at... Um, Right, the next... Hold on, is that refreshed? Bear with for a second while I fix and... Oh, 
update things. Okay, so for our next class, actually going to be quite an interesting challenge. So, we are going to run muscle cars. However, so the Bastion is allowed, but you cannot run an all-wheel drive Bastion. So it's going to be muscle cars, but they are not allowed to have any brakes. Now, this is actually going to pose some interesting conundrums as to how you tackle this course. Because it's very difficult to slow the cars down. You can't engine brake too much because you will just blow your engine to bits. And then you will stop being able to drive and then you will be eliminated. So you're going to have to be very careful. You see, your options are basically Moonhawk, Burnside, Bastion, Barstow. Uh, may, uh, I mean, not really a Grand Marshal. Oh, and Blue Buck. Uh, Blue Buck's actually a very good shout for this. I'm going to drive a Blue Buck. I don't know what one I want, but I do want one. It's whether you go for a slower car, where you won't have to be... You won't have got up to as much speed, so you won't have as much speed to have got rid of. Uh, and if we remove the brakes, so we will, we will take the brakes off. There will be no handbrake either. It's not like Forza where we've removed brakes, where you like remove brake pressure and the handbrake still works. There will be physically no brakes. Um, what the hell? I, well, I think this might actually be a good shout. It's kind of a mid-ish, mid-ish spec. Heavy duty suspension is good. And then, yeah, we have to remove. We have to remove the brakes. I mean, it's not got great brakes to begin with. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not exactly going to be great. There we go. Uh, I, I'm not going for a supercharged Bastion because it's going to be way too quick. Also, my... Well, that, the one that I've used in the flood races is all-wheel drive. You could, of course, put the supercharger in a non a non all-wheel drive spec. And that would be allowed, naturally. But, uh, hmm. Are we going to do anything game? Or are we going not going to do much? There we go. Um, maybe. Oh, no. Okay, that's all. Just click on that again. Uh, right, Lado's got a derby car by the looks of it. <laughs> this is act these are going to be a little bit difficult to get them to line up because, well, they're just going to roll. Uh, what you'll have to do is we'll have to, like, reset them in place to do this. Right, police car. Of course, as you can see here, I'm on the brakes and it does nothing. It does nothing. It does nothing. It does nothing. Whoop. So yeah, you just have to, you kind of just got to reset it, pretty much. Um, I, there is a small issue in that I am ro currently rolling away. Car, stop rolling. Thank you. Okay, well I found a bit of flat land, and that is where I will sit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's not very easy. Funnily enough, <laughs> when you don't have brakes, your car does tend to roll away. Now for this one. It is going to be a two-lap race. Okay, we're going to take turn the laps down because I don't think we're going to have many surviving vehicles here. So it'll be a two-lap race for these cars. I will be quite surprised if anything actually makes it. I think it's going. I think they're going to struggle to make it. Oh, Lado! Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I, I, oh, sorry. Press the wrong button. Right. And Lado knew exactly what was coming. <laughs> and Lado went straight into a tree. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, oh, I still didn't reset myself properly. Uh, right. Spin ourselves a wrap. Well, I, I, just, I keep instinctively going for the brake. And it's a really difficult habit to get out of. I say habit, but uh, yeah, you just instinctively go for the brake. And it's not going to do a damn thing in this. Um, it's not going to do a damn thing to stop these vehicles from moving around. Right. We shall load the events. So. 
I don't even know what we're going. I don't know what we're going to see here as the. Um, should we just give Brazen a boo? I think we'll give Brazen a boo. Uh, will Park work? Yes. I don't know if putting it into Park in the middle of a race situation is a good idea, but uh, Park does apparently does stop us. Um, reverse might work, although you might blow your gearbox up going for reverse. So, like, you could well do... Um, you could well blow your clutch and gearbox up messing about with trying to get it in reverse and park and all of that sort of thing. So, there are kind of some emergency. There are some kind of emergency. Um, oh, I shouldn't have pressed event queued. I thought we could load it quick enough. So, emergency things... But whether, whether those will be used, whether they will just break, whether, whether they will just disintegrate your car. So yeah, engine braking is a thing, right? You can do it. I can't. I've got an automatic. But you also don't want to do it. Because if you do engine braking and you time it wrong, you will blow your engine to pieces because this is Beam. This is not Forza where you can get away with that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, you have got to be very, very careful. Uh, with engine braking and the like. Uh, now, I don't have the fastest muscle car. I, I specifically didn't go for a really high spec one because I didn't want to have to shrug off a whole load of speed. Uh, now, we can use the hills to help slow the cars down. So, for example, here, if you don't want to go as fast up the hill, I can just let gravity slow us down. Lado's sending it, uh, which is honestly not a big surprise to anybody. Um, oh, come on, game, really? That was the most innocuous bump in the world. Well, I guess we might as well send it at this point. With the oil pan gone, we're going to be out in seconds. I can't hear a thing over Grusky's Grand Marshal. Yeah, I mean, the oil pan's gone. The radiator's gone. We have assaulted Danger Man at that point. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Now it's our turn. We are the one being pushed. Um... Uh, Right, well, it's going to be a crunch down here. Yeah, it's not really going to matter. My car, anyone else's car that might have lost an oil pan. I mean, two laps, it gives us a little bit more of a chance, right? But still, this is not going to work. Oh, that thing is so deafeningly loud. Please have a crash, because I just want to get rid of the Grand Marshal, because it's so loud. Uh, we are over the jump. I can't hear my car. I can barely hear myself think let alone anything else. Oh, oh no! Problems have happened with my right left wheel. That's got all manners of funny. Uh, I think that's more than just the tyre gone. There's something else? Oh, some debris has got stuck in it. Oh, it's just... Go away, noisy Grand Marshal. That's horrific. Oh, the wheel's locked up from debris. That's not so good. I mean, I, so I'm allowed to node grab bits debris out of the car, but I don't even... Okay, there it's gone. I think that's like a... I don't, even know if it... I don't even know if that's come off my car or whether it's come off someone else. Um... Yeah, it may it may have... Sorry, rear left uh, wheel, of course, is, uh, is what I meant. It may have been off someone else's car, like a, a, a wheel arch guard. Could have come off of Shadows, because that would be the only one that would probably have had them. Yeah, we don't have anything like that. The car's a wreck. Um, and there we go. That's... That is going to be the end of my blue bark. Really. I forgot this has got the world's weakest um, uh, oil pan. Which is a bit of a shame. Oh, there's, oh, Speed Beast has had a terrible time as well. So Shadow leads with the Bastion. Lado's engine's expiring. There's a gaggle of cars at the start-finish line. Oh, that was a crunch. Oh, I heard a crunch of a gear. Oh, Speed Beast tried to do the aerial overtake. It was uh, a good attempt. Oh, it has damaged my roof. My roof is, is definitely bad. Uh, <laughs> Brazen has lost a lot of time there, which makes me think something has happened. Uh, yeah, we, we, we are 
flat out here. Oh. Speed Beast will surely find a way past soon. <laughs> I don't know how much further Lado's car can go because Lado's was also steaming heavily, so that at least had radiator damage, if not oil pan damage. Uh, the fact that. Well, oh, the car tried to change up a gear. Don't do that, you fool. Stay in probably first. Speed Beast's engine, obviously, is about as poorly as mine. Danger Man has just been assaulted by Rusky, and Rusky's fallen over. Uh, oh, God. That was a big crunch. Uh, trying to force it into first. Oh, the blue buck is dying. The Shadow is leading, but he's being caught by Danger Man, who is now just sending it at the moment. Uh, which, you know, kind of has to do... I think Danger Man has actually got to the lead of the race. Shadow has fallen behind, and Shadow might be broken. Lado is eliminated, or has stopped, I should say. Could we pass Lado? I don't quite know how we would manage to do that, all things considered. Um, uh, well, Lado has rolled back down the hill. Not quite. Of course, because there's no brakes. So you you <laughs> you can't just go, you're going to just sit on the handbrake. And Lado conked out at the top of the hill and then rolled down the hill. I don't know how our banana of a car is still going. Amazingly, it's just a bunch of very classic, well, some very classic muscle cars and a few weird ones thrown in. Um, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping for Speed Beast or Brazen to break down before I do at this point, because we're just limping with the most busted engine. Speed Beast is looking like that car's giving up the ghost. Come on. Come on, Blue Buck. Brazen's out. We're going to get another car. I think Danger Man is going to win. Okay, don't you throw a Brazen at me. Christ, that's the last thing I need is to deal with that. Speed Beast's car is dying. And has taken the cheater's way. I hope your car breaks down on you. Uh, <laughs> Danger Man is heading to the finish line, I think. We can't quite see. Speed Beast is eliminated. We might get fourth. Um, I think Danger Man is the victor. Oh, the bit that... Oh, I was busy watching up ahead and I drove over the... Uh, my, oh, that debris that gave me issue before. Uh, how is this? This is another car. It still has life. It's just beached. Oh, no, never mind. I knew as soon as it stopped revving that I was dead. Uh, <laughs> there, my engine has expired. Ah, oh, Shadow expired on the final stretch as well. Danger Man, I believe, was victorious on that one. I think Rusky came second with it. The Grand Marshals did well. They were a good, a good shout. Um... Yeah, the fact that we somehow got fourth is quite impressive, really. That is that is honestly quite impressive for the rather bananaed blue buck. Yeah, Speed Beast is stuck over there with a the dead engine. There is the Barstow with it with its engine in trouble, and there is a Lado having rolled down a hill. It wasn't too bad with the whole. Um, no brakes. Didn't actually make a huge difference, although a lot of that was to do with the fact the cars have got quite broken quite quickly. Although, yeah, you can kind of get away with just chucking the cars at this track a little bit, because the speeds aren't too high. Uh, but yeah, a lot of wrecked cars early on meant that we never really saw too much effect of the uh, uh, kind of no brakes aspect. But it's an interesting challenge, nevertheless. Uh, Alex, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying race with three wheeled cars but pigeons and widgeons are not allowed uh, well we can't do that I'm afraid there are no there is no way to make a three wheeled vehicle um, you can only remove wheels in pairs on this game so there is there is no way to make any three wheeled vehicles outside of the pigeon and the widgeon no, I don't th I don't think we even have any mods. Pretty sure we don't have any mods for the uh, vehicles. Oh, I remember what, sorry, I, 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 I do, do apologise. Um, 
I forgot one of the classes we were going to run. Uh, okay, so for this next one, you can choose... Uh, I'm going to say you're not allowed to use the likes of the... You're not allowed to use the off-roaders, so the Hopper, uh, the D-Series, the Roma. Uh, I would maybe... I'd probably include the Stambeco in that. Um, but you must use the base spec of the car. You must use the base the the most basic spec of the vehicle so the first one when you load it up so let's say you want to run an i series you must run the first one now if it like this one here has an option between automatic and manual you can choose which one you want but you must use the base spec you are not allowed to change a single thing about the vehicle now this throws up some interesting questions do you go for a modern car like an 800 series, it'll probably be a better base spec, but it might be really unsuited to off-road. What is the base spec goal? Uh, I mean, I would pretend... Well, okay, there might be some cars where the actual first one on the list is slightly... Um, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'd count that as a base spec. Um... But, uh, even though I don't know if I want that regardless. Uh, see, I reckon... God, is this cheesy. Is this cheesy. It's rear-wheel drive. It's kind of a bit cheesy. I'm going to try it. It's a bit cheesy. I mean, it's certainly not an off-roader. It's it's certainly not an off-roader. I mean, it's got 200 horsepower. It's actually not got that much power. Like, power to weight ratio isn't anything to write home about. Uh, so, yeah, we will see what, uh, what, what goes on. Um, I can't use Dodge Charger. That is not... That's that's in my game. It's not on the server, uh, that one. I actually need to remove those mods at some point. So, we have got... I wondered if anyone was going to go Scintilla. And Lado has gone. Base spec Scintilla. Uh, Brazen has base spec Lacrosse. So, Lado's got a little bit more like my avenue. My my approach. Speed Beast has base spec <laughs> Cherrier Convertible. Rusky's gone another way. I, we didn't ban the T-Series, so... Base spec T-Series will not be fast. However, it will probably be stronger than the rest of us. So we've got to be, we've got to beat it as a, in a race. We've got to be faster than it. Because we know it will survive. That's a, that's a brave choice. That is a brave choice. What is the man of danger going to get? Don't know. They are still looking. I haven't actually seen that cherry. Let's have a look at power. So I have 200 horsepower. Uh, Shadow has 109. Lado has 600. Lado is in a supercar. Um, Brazen has 94. Oh, Brazen. Uh, Rusky has 300. Uh, 109, of course, for Shadow. Danger Man's car has not updated. We will see what the man of danger is driving. Danger Man is in a van. Um... And I don't think the stats have updated properly on it. That does happen sometimes. The stats aren't always completely accurate, uh, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, they don't always act, uh, update when you're sat in camera like I am. So we've got... There's essentially three schools of thought. Brazen, Shadow, and Speed Beast have kind of gone down one avenue. Me and Lado have gone a different way, although Lado a lot more extreme version. And then Danger Man and Rusky have gone the will survive, but will be very slow. I chat, place your bets. Which of these approaches is going to be best? <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know what we are going to see here. Uh, let's begin. Let us get the tech countdown going. Uh, me and Lado are going to spin the wheels a lot. I mean, Lado's going to spin the wheels a lot more than me here. That's for sure. Uh, oh. 
Now, Danger Man has actually got some traction. We are going to try and take the lead away uh, from that van. Oh, it's got more grip than I do. So the, the, thing for, the thing that I've got to watch out for, I should be very fast at this first section, right? Because this first section is just a straight up track. There's no damaging obstacles. Oh, we also have a three lap race, I should have said. Three lap race with these, no reason for it not to be. Um, yeah, the first part of the circuit I'll be very quick on, but here I'm going to have to conserve the SBR4 for a little bit, and Danger Man will not. Uh, <laughs> the van will not be conserving anywhere. So it's going to be, I have to accelerate quickly, and then Danger Man will catch up. Although probably not over these bumps. This and At the moment, later on though, the van will probably send it. Uh, so <laughs> we have... We've, we've got to be careful. We've got to be aware of the dangers quite literally behind us. Uh, now, we should be able to make this double, which we do quite nicely. So we have a good start to this with the SBR4, but I, like, I'm not going to be taking these jumps on this first lap, and Danger Man may. And it, nope, did not. Brazen, with the giddy 90 horsepower, is chucking a Lagrona around. Brazen believes the Legron will survive. Uh, go for it. <laughs> Brazen is going mad with the Legron. <laughs> well, I mean, it might work. It, it might work. It might completely disintegrate. You never know. I can outrun it down here, but I am not. You see, I can outrun it, but I am not taking these as doubles on this first lap. I don't want to risk my car this early on. And Brazen does. So, that, uh, yeah. The Legron is back to the lead of the race. Now, I'm going to presume that Brazen will have no mechanical sympathy over these bumps. And Brazen will just motocross jump it the whole way down. We will still continue our kind of diagonal in approach. In this car, the engine's in the back, so it is... Oh, for God's sake. Really? I was about to say the engine in the back is a lot more difficult to damage the oil pan, but how did that even happen? I guess there's no real point in me not chasing down a brazen at this stage. I don't, yeah. We just clonked it all. Oh, well, then when I broke my steering. Um, I said it doesn't, I don't re it doesn't really matter because the car's... Well, I kind of broke the steering, actually. I think it... No, it stopped. Oh, no, it is, it is quite busted. Oh. I, d I did not think the oil pan would break that easily in the SBR4. Um, that is a real disappointment. Uh, that is a real disappointment. Damn. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, we will clonk that across there. Engine is starved to avoid. Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh, I did not check. I did not check before reversing. I might have killed a Lado slightly. Uh, <laughs> I did not check to see. Oh, my steering's gone anyway. Um, I thought I had enough steering to at least limp around the corners. We did not. So it, yeah, I I am incredibly, I am incredibly sorry to a Lado. We do not have steering to carry on. There's actually steering damage that killed us rather than engine. Um, yeah. Well, that has gone poorly. That has that has gone poorly. Speed Beast is seriously struggling with steering. Danger Man's had problems with the van. I'm going to guess falling over maybe related problems. Brazen leads the way, but Brazen's not making it to the end with that Legron. It's been too abused. Lado's not making it to the end with broken steering. Uh, that That's definitely... That's going to have issues at some point. At the moment, it's very... Uh, interpretive in terms of track limits. So, Rusky is in a good place with the truck. Shadow is maybe in a good place with the chair. If something happens to the truck... Shadow's in a good place. Speed Beast is... Well, not in a great... Great place. That looks quite poorly. Brazen has conked out on the hill. Brazen is eliminated. So, as long as the truck doesn't break down now, the truck will inherit the lead. 
The truck is being chased by the two chariots. And then the van is a little bit further back. As I said, the truck will make it. Uh, <laughs> the regular has died. The Legrand is eliminated. Um, oh, well, there's a little bit of lag on Vraski's truck. It makes it very difficult to tell what's going on with that. Um, now, Speed Beast is catching. Has quite has caught quite well up to the truck. There may be some steering damage. I th oh no. So the, the front wheels on the truck aren't pointing properly, but that could be a little bit of desync, and as we can see, there is lag going on. So Shadow looks like they're struggling a little bit with that corner, but they do make it. Now, Speed Beast has caught, is bringing someone's bumper with them, is taking it cautiously over the jumps here. Uh, Rusky is less cautious with the truck, as you would expect, as they can be, but is out wide. Speed Beast, oh, do not drive straight into the side of a truck. Funnily enough, that doesn't generally go well for the little car. Uh, I don't know if that actually took the radiator out of Speed Beast's vehicle or whether it was already having problems with the radiator. All that lag is terrifying. You've got to be aware. You've got to be aware of the, uh, the, the, the the rusky lag. I don't know if the truck is genuinely on that part of the track or whether it's about to lag across. No idea. Um, Danger Man. <laughs> Danger Man is broken down. And apparently it was Speed Beast's fault. Did they say? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh. So... We, we are down to three remaining working vehicles. Lado's out with steering failure. Um, Brazen was out, we know, with, with engine failure. Danger Man is out with potentially engine failure. I'm not sure. It's now whether... Can either of the Chariots... Speed Beast is trying, but I think Speed Beast is too damaged. Shadows looks like it might make it to the finish, but it's got a lot of ground to make up. Rusky's truck, we know, we saw, we did a box truck round. We saw how strong the trucks are. Um, so we know, we know they can take an absolute battery around this circuit and keep going. Speedbus is now going around the outside and the green chariot may well take the lead here and it does. Oh, and Rusky hit, oh no, never mind, it was like, I thought Rusky hit the tree. We have seen vehicles in that tree before, it's easy to... Uh, turn in a bit too much, especially in heavily damaged vehicles, which all of these will be by this point. Oh, Speedy's overshot the corner. Uh, and Rusky has overshot it worse. Actually, that's actually a really, really bad place to end up in. So, the more time Rusky loses, the more trouble that could be in. If Speed Beast breaks down, it will be where the Shadow can pass the truck. I don't know if Speed Beast's Chariot is going to make it. We think it's overheating. We think it's in a bad way. Down there. It might survive till the end of the race. We do not know. Rusky is hoping just to be surviving. There's a very funny sound going on from Shadow's car. It's just whistling. It doesn't have any engine noise or anything like that. Uh, Speed Beast, don't crash into Brazen while it'll be funny. Uh, if you manage to take your car out on an immobilized car. Well, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe, I, who knows what chat would like. Uh, <laughs> uh, the truck, well, that continues to batter its way around. Yeah, ignore the front wheels. This That's not how they actually will be. That's a bit to do with the lag. Oh, God. I would not be trying to do that with a truck, if I'm honest. Uh, Shadow... Did get a bit of airtime going into the pit, but yeah. Rusky is just fully going for it. It kind of got to at this point. It got to try and stay ahead of the other chariot. Rusky's best hope is that Speed Beast breaks down and has to make sure they stay ahead of Shadow, um, who is right there. Will Speed Beast make it to the finish line? Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess by the driving that Speed Beast car is overheating and it is just at the point of, uh, well, I might as well go now because otherwise you had this lead, you wouldn't you wouldn't crash it around. You wouldn't risk it necessarily. Uh, that's a big clonk over there. Don't fall over with that. It's still what drives. We, we seem to have lost engine sound, but it's still it's still putting its power down. So 
not going to worry about that. It's the uh, electric. Well, suspiciously engine-looking electric chariot with one more quarter to go. That's a big, big clonk again over these jumps. However, Speed Beast is going to head around to the final corner and it will be victory for a Speed Beast. Well done indeed. Uh, <laughs> Speed Beast will win in the kind of Boggo standard Ooh. spec vehicles. Uh, Rusky was not a bad idea with the truck and it worked. It just wasn't quite fast enough. Uh, so the truck will come home in second place and it was the other of the chariots, the non-convertible one, that is going to cross the line on the podium. There we go. I had a terrible round. Um, yeah. I think the SBR4 could have worked had I not... I guess I have been really slow over the over all of the bumps, so maybe it could have worked. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Me and Lado had these ideas of the supercars, and they were problematic, shall we say? It did not did not quite work. Petrolhead, thank you very much for the super chat. Say, hey, Alex, uh, Horizon One and Horizon Two online servers are shutting down on August the twenty second. Uh, so hop on and get some memories before this date. Oh, I, that is the first I've heard of it. Oh, well, that's... Um, I say a shame, but perhaps not a massive surprise that they would eventually get shut down. Um, yeah, I mean, they were... Horizon 1... I mean, I've, been, I enjoy, I've enjoyed all the Horizon games, but, uh, yeah, Horizon... The Forza Horizon series has been... Uh, has been certainly a very big part of this channel and a very big part of, of driving games, really. And so, yeah, that is a that is a, that is a sad day. Many an hour has been spent on both of those games online. Oh, Danger Man is flailing, and has bopped a vehicle around. Uh, Shady Ferret Gaming, thank you very much for the donation. Saying not for this, but suggestion for other multiplayer shenanigans. Uh, Hiroshi Raceway Figure Eight, but with brakes removed, makes it harder to chicken out and be conservative. And overdriving will hurt as well. Um, yeah, I mean that's that we have never done like figure eight racing without any brakes, um, so we may well I can't, yeah that could be quite fun. You may well see that at some point in the future. You may well see that at some point in the future. I think I actually have a have an idea of where I can put that. As it won't be, I won't be a video on its own, but I think I have an idea where I can put that in terms of a video it can go in. Uh, so <laughs> there is that. Um, right for. Our final, our final race. Uh, you know, what, actually, I'm going to take Drake's idea. We're going to we're going to twist Drake's idea a little bit. Uh, so we're going to say, 90s and newer cars. No, 90s and newer cars. No rally spec. Actually, yeah, no rally spec. And I don't know. I don't know what year the. Let me just go have a look. Uh, so if we go. If the game lets us uh, years, so from 1990, uh, so we will have no rally or off-road spec vehicles for this. Actually, you know what? Maybe a better way of doing. It. I'm going to change that slightly. Sorry, must be two-wheel drive. Uh, oh, they're still rally spec ones. <laughs> Must be two-wheel drive. Don't use a rally car. I, you know, because <laughs> I know someone's going to abuse that. Um, I know someone's going to abuse that. Two-wheel drive, no rally cars. Okay. Can we do that? I'm going to go with no, but we will see. I'm going to go for something I haven't driven today. I'll go for a... I mean, Grand, Grand Marshals, I trust strong. They are just strong, reliable. This will make it to the finish. Probably. You don't normally kill Grand Marshals in three laps. You might. I'm going to try and hopefully not um, kill it, but we will see. Oh, I've been dumped a fair way off the circuit. But yeah, my, my theory here is we won't be the fastest thing here, but we should be 
very strong. Grand Marshals are notoriously difficult to kill. Although, I tell you what, we might give it... It's the Interceptor, right? Interceptor 1. So, what I might do is just go... Uh, this seems reasonable. <laughs> there, there are going to be... I feel like just ultra heavy duty um, is the way to go. Mm, that's probably the gearbox we want, and just so that it doesn't melt. I mean, 420 horsepower is not actually that crazy. Uh, right, that works. Uh, Lado's removed a front diff on something. I don't quite know what it was. Lado's, Lado's got. Um, I mean, that's fair enough. It might drive horribly with the power delivery. Um, I, don't, I don't know what don't know what Lado's in yet. I'm going to guess it's like a some sort of truck minus a default. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, so Lado's got a two-wheel drive Cherrier electric chariot that is a choice I, I mean Shadow drove one to victory in the very first round it was a front wheel drive one of them um, so yeah we have a lot of power we won't have the most power here I can I can hazard a go Shadow's got a drag car so Rusky has 150 Lado has 200 Danger Man has 180 Brazen has 400. And Shadow has 800. <laughs> Bloody hell. And Speedy still has the convertible. So yeah, we have 400. We're, well, point, yeah, point zero two two. That's fairly... Um, fairly reasonable. Oh, did I, I, I changed the long... Did I not change the long block? I thought I changed it. Did I get distracted changing something? I meant to change the long block to a performance one. Uh, I did not. I meant to do... Actually, I meant to put the heavy duty ones on. Right, I don't care about performance. Um, they actually just want heavy duty so it doesn't melt. I meant to do that. I got distracted because I changed engine mounts and radiator, and then forgot to do this. Yeah, I just want the heavy. Like, I don't. I don't want. I don't care about the performance. I just want it to survive. Um, that's what we're going for here. I will say, I very much like Danger Man's spec of Pazima. That looks cool. Uh, it's kind of like the sporty, sporty body kit and everything. Um, well, we'll wait for a speed beast to get loaded in, but chat, what do you reckon? What car do you reckon is going to have the best chance here? I think we should definitely make it. I don't know if we're going to be the fastest car here. I don't think we're going to lead. But I... F bloody hell. I'm going to blame Brazen for the silly horn. If there's a silly horn in the game... Chances are Brazen is is the one. Um, maybe, actually, no, it might probably not probably won't be Brazen because it's too tame. Uh, it is it is too tame on on this one. Come on, Speed Beast, are you, is Speed Beast there? I don't know. I don't know if Speed Beast is there. Uh, <laughs> I I can go. I can put a race one. I don't actually know if it makes any difference on here. It's not reinforced or anything. Maybe, like, there's not, there's not, like, an option for a reinforced one. Um. I think we're just gonna go. I don't know if Speed Beast is there, but they're taking too long. So, three lap race. Oh. Oh, no. Speed Beast has now turned up. Well, I mean, it does technically fit in the category, so that's fine. Oh, Speedy might have been making adjustments to the convertible. Um, right, okay. Let the countdown begin. So, we have convertible chariot. Well, could it go for two wins in a row? I don't think any car has ever won two events in a row. Uh, God, something's very loud. I think that's Danger Man with the Pazima. Brazen's found some crazy bumps to have an accident on. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Rusky. I am struggling with 
I can't hear my own bloody car over all these really loud things. Uh, Danger Man's is horrifically loud, that one. Oh, we will slide our way through here. Right, up the hills we go. Now, I will potentially, uh, you know, first lap, first lap we're going to not go crazy, like here for example. God, I already hate Danger Man's car. <laughs> Just because I can't hear my own car over that. Uh, so I already don't want to be near it. It's not even the really nice sound either from Danger Man's, particularly. Uh, now, I'm not going to... I can probably do at least a double there. In fact, that should even be able to clear that as a, as a three jump, essentially. Uh, first lap going to be a bit careful here. Later laps, I won't be if we are needing to catch a car. If we're in the lead, we'll be fine. Uh, oh, God. That's fine. We struggled a little bit on the brakes, but uh, we have made it. Brazen is catching up after a big off early on. No, no admittedly, Brazen is probably just kind of sending it. Oh, I got loads of oversteer and could not prevent myself, essentially, from blocking Brazen. Now, I don't want to let Danger Man get too far away, which is why we are... I say that, I don't want to get close because of the sound. However, uh, the double there, I think, was necessary to uh, make up some... make up some grab. Oh, Danger Man's engine's in trouble. Pretty sure that is an overheating Pazima. Now, we saw Speed Beast make it with potentially an overheating Chariot, although from lap... halfway through lap one, that would be bad. And the fact that it's suddenly become a lot quieter. I mean, it's good that it's become a lot quieter. Right. Come on. You beast of a Grand Marshal. Danger Man is sending it. Um, ah, the, uh, the, <laughs> the electric Chariot is broken. Brazen is here with an 800 series, and Brazen is really going for it. Am I going to get goaded into a race with Brazen that I shouldn't? Probably. The 800 series is strong. That is having a good run here. Although we know what Brazen is like for killing cars. I mean, I feel like the Grand Marshal is stronger than an 800 series. Oh. We might have to go for it. We might have to go for it because the risks of not are... Well, so if we don't go for it, Brazen may just run away at the front and not break down. I think Danger Man's car is poorly, but it's difficult to tell. <laughs> See, I am, I'm so bad. Shadow's done so well in some previous rounds because Shadow is the only one of us that is able to still go slowly while, like, oh, Brazen has fallen over. Well, that's, that's reassuring. It's, yeah, difficult to go slowly and expecting other cars to break down, even though it's a very valid strategy in this. Um, I don't like, I don't like employing it. Um, and I never feel like it's going to work, even though it has proven time and time again it can. Uh, but we are in a car, as I said, this car can take some punishment. Oh god, Danger Man stopped! There! Oh! God damn it. For god's sake, that's so annoying! Uh, I think Danger Man's engine has died as well. Uh... Okay, well, Brazen's bent wheels, and I have lost part of my steering. So, that's absolutely not Danger Man's fault. It's frustrating because I didn't realise that car was going to be stopped there. Um, like, Danger Man was taking it carefully, and has just stopped directly in front of us. And yeah, there was just... I couldn't do anything because I was already committed long before I realised Danger Man was stopping. Uh, we only have one wheel that steers. However... Apparently, that's all we need. Uh, amazingly, I don't quite know how this has occurred. Uh, but yeah, I have no front right wheel anymore. But my steering's fine. Well, I say fine. I can still steer both directions like you would need to. Oh. 
Uh, car. Back. Okay. Gears. <laughs> hey, Shadow. <laughs> Uh, Shadow's upside down in the drag car. I can still steer left. So, Brazen's smoking heavily. Uh, that's... Well, Brazen's smoking heavily and had a big off somewhere. I don't think Brazen's car makes it to the end. It might end up being a showdown between, um... Me and Shadow. Pretty much. Uh, oh, come on. Here we go. Danger Man forgot to upgrade the radiator and overheated. Yeah, that happens. Uh, now, I cannot really afford to go slowly. Oh, God. Although I don't think I've got much of a choice here. Uh, with my level of damage, I can't really go fast. Just because I can't. Well, we can take those as doubles, I think, which is good. I want to go... So the reason why I can't afford to go slowly is I need Shadow to be pushing. I need Shadow to make mistakes in the drag car to try and catch me. Oh, because... Yeah, otherwise... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't hit the lamppost. Uh, we're not going to expire, I don't think. And, oh, it's really... I could do with Shadow breaking that car. Which is why I'm trying to go quickly here, is I want Shadow to break the car. Because um, that makes my life easier, so I can just focus on finishing it. Oh, we're getting quite warm. Okay, I might have to... Brazen's eliminated. The 800 series is dead. So, it's me in a heavily damaged Grand Marshal police car. It's an unlu a really unlucky jump. If I didn't have this wheel damage, this would be incredibly straightforward. But the wheel damage and the fact that I've lost steering so early on, that's relatively early on. Uh, come on, Grand Marshal. You can go. Now, I am going to be actually quite awkward to overtake. Not intentionally. However, my car wanders all over the place. So Shadow will have to pick and choose a moment to get past carefully. Because uh, while I will not intentionally wipe out a competitor and this time uh, I, won't, I won't intentionally wipe Shadow out however as you can see I do not steer very well come on Grand Marshal do not let that do not let a drag car be the victor here oh no oh you're gonna land on your wheels you are come on go 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 engines getting a bit toasty now I can hear it getting closer. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Please tell me the drag car's popped a radiator. It doesn't look like it has. Uh, I mean, it's, it's... It's also probably a little bit poorly. Speedway's still circulating with the cherry. I'd, I'd slightly forgotten about it, to be honest. Having not really seen it much. Um... Yeah, I had slightly forgotten it was still circling. I kind of just assumed it was out. Uh, no! The drag car's come past. Oh, okay, well, I'm going for it. Oh! <laughs> I'm going for it. We, we cannot take caution into this at all. Brazen's upside down and eliminated. Right, now... Oh, no, don't fall over. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Ah, oh. Come on, Grand Marshal. We need... To... So Shadow's car will be very difficult to control as well. Neither of us have got cars that are liking this. Mine with broken steering. Shadow's on drag suspension. And Shadow's got over. Yes. Come on, Grand Marshal. You can do this. Your engine's getting toasty. Your engine's very toasty at the moment. Uh... <laughs> Oh no, loads of understeer. Loads of understeer. Just no steering is going on in the Grand Marshal. Thing is, now I have the lead. Shadow's not recovered that very quickly. I do not want... I now don't want to go fast down here because I don't want to roll and then have to go through all the difficulties of recovering. Come on! We've not got that far to go. Shadow will just be launching a drag car towards us. If it doesn't... No! No! Come on! 
if Shadow doesn't fall over, that's going to make up so much time because it's got so much more speed than I do. And we can barely turn. This is going to be so close. Oh, come on. Grand Marshal, do not let me down now on the steering front. It's really struggling to turn. Uh, oh, no. Shadow's right behind us. Shadow is right here. You, I will not let you go to the inside. I have got no steering to fight, though. It's a drag race to the line. It's going to be, I think, the Grand Marshal got it, but I don't actually know. I'm going to have to watch it back on the stream delay. <laughs> I'm not even sure what car got it. <laughs> we covered that inside as hard as we could with broken steering. And, yeah, I'm trying to watch it back. I don't know. I, I legit don't know, because... I, I think we were fractionally ahead, but Shadow was catching so quickly. That is so... Without an actual dedicated camera there, I don't know how we could, we could tell, because that was so close. That was a hell of a race. That was a hell of a race right there. Well done, Shadow, for getting a drag car around in one piece. Um, yeah, the Grand Marshal. It, it, was, it was a little bit unlucky. Uh, with just where Danger Man's car died or was going slow. And, yeah, I was committed and we... I think a bumper actually took our front steering out. But, yes, yeah, so <laughs> Shadow's car was, was awkward to drive being a drag car and mine was awkward to drive being broken. Oh, that was mayhem. It was great mayhem. That was a great race again. Well done, Shadow, for putting up such a good fight. Um, ah. Uh. And, oh, and Speed Beast is eliminated with the modified convertible. Um, oh, the mod broke. Well, that does happen as well. Um, Taylor Brazen, thank you for dropping a car on me. It is much appreciated. Brazen, are you playing around with gravity? Have we got the weird Dutch gravity again? I think we do. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> the, Dutch, the Dutch gravity has taken effect. Um, oh, dear. Well, as we wiggle our one working wheel in the air again, um, that is going to be... Is going to be that. Oh, also, uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the, uh, the super chat, by the way, saying happy midsummer uh, to you all. Indeed. Indeed. Um, I guess, is it the longest day? Is it the longest day of the year? Or in England? I don't know if it is today. Might be. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, that is going to be it. For, I've just realised the time. That is going to be it for today's stream. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun today, actually. Um, we've had some genuinely really close racing. The truck race was amazing. Um, I think this this final race is the second time we've had a photo finish with um, me and Shadow today, which is honestly quite impressive. Um, oh, is it the 21st? Was that the longest day? Ah, oh, fair enough. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's stream, because I've had a great time. It's been, been highly entertaining races. A um, couple of uh, bad driving moments from me, but on the most part, a... Uh, a fairly successful time here at the Baja Rama circuit. Um, I will be back on Sunday, hopefully, with the next stream back on GTA. And over we go. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be back on Sunday for some more GTA antics uh, if you want to come along and, well, watch. You can even take part as well. That one is an open lobby on Xbox. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is going to be it from from me. A very big thank you to everyone who donated. It is always very much appreciated indeed. And of course, thank you all for watching for spending your Friday evening with us farting about on uh, on Beam. But yeah, that'll be it from me for this evening. Until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>